children. Do you not have- you, can you not take them to the park? <laughs> rage more rage. Rage more rage. <laughs> Stupid fucking motherfucker. <laughs> my dog, my uncle. I'm fat. I'm obese. I am fat. Every time I do a weigh-in, the scale's broken. <laughs> Hillbilly crap white trash people. Good morning. Hello. I know we're a few minutes early, but I figured we're going to need those minutes. Denise, hello. Share Bear, the Lessa, Bobka, Fishink, Carrie, Jess, Danny Y, Emotional Sport Muffin, Amanda, Joni, Christine, Katie, Jamie, Maddie, Kitty, Artwork, Susie Q, Krabby Joe, Pink Warrior, Melissa, uh, oh my goodness, Lori Compton, Satchels of Gold. Hello. Happy Scat Day. Thank you so much for being a member, girl. I appreciate you. DG, hello, Terry Lynn, K Bug, Salva, Cancer Warrior, Miss Ann, Ravens Magic, Fish Inc., Just Dev, Callie's Bathroom Studio. Remember when Yaba said Salah would be 10 times worse? That's right, Callie's Bathroom Studio. I did say that. We're going to talk about that. Thank you for your support. Stump Jumper, you're going to have to change Cat Daddy's name since Salah is now Scat Daddy, and the two are very close. That's true. That's okay. Hello, Lauren. Good to see you. Happy late birthday, by the way, hun. Um, Let's see. My goodness. Kells Bells. I was so wildly unprepared for yesterday. I'm still playing catch up. I think we all are. I've went over it more than once. Hey, Jamie Carpenter. Severia, hello. Morning. I had to go get a Twitter account for this drama. If you could put the woof woof on the soundboard, I'll pay you for your and Sam's wedding. Also, I heard Jack Harlow for the first time yesterday and thought of you. That is so sweet. And yes, we will definitely put the barking on the soundboard. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much for your support. Jennifer Lynn says, two Salahs, one cup. I'm fucking dead, dude. Shallow, hello. Thank you for the super sticker. Thank you so much for the support. Um, Just in case, I have the... I love him video on my channel. Don't worry, I have all the videos that got deleted. I was working on that this morning. Like I said, it takes an entire community to keep up with this fuckery, especially after yesterday. Who had this on their card? Hello, Buttercrump. Good morning to you. Goofy dumb, goofy ho bitch. Logged off for the day yesterday and came back to all this shit. I am so lost. Wow, what a day to take off and what a day to miss because we, most of us watched it played out in real time and it was absolutely everything, everything that we deserved. Honestly, everything. <laughs> I, I mean, Chantel and Salah, when I say that you delivered yesterday, I mean, you absolutely fucking delivered. Okay. Nobody is shocked to find out that Salah is a degenerate. All right. I didn't know that it would be ex exposed in such a manner. I just figured it'd be one of those things that would probably just always go, uh, you know, unnoticed, unexposed, if you will. Jasmine, hello. Good morning to you. We did not have this on the card for 2023. No, we did not. Popper lives. Hello. He's so gross and evil. Agreed. Thank you for your support. Uh, Res Daughtry, welcome to the poorest. Thank you so much for being a poor piece of crap. Yes, round of applause for all of our actions yesterday. Everybody keeping up. Everybody following along. Let's see here. We have something somewhere. Yes! <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much for the super sticker. Uh, I appreciate you. All right, so listen. If for some reason you were on another planet yesterday, maybe, I don't know, somehow you missed everything that went down. We'll try to start from the beginning and walk you through step by step. There have been things that have been deleted. There are deleted videos. There are deleted apology videos. There are deleted community tab posts. Uh, things are missing. Pieces are gone. But that's why this community exists. So when 
things get removed from certain channels, <laughs> we all have them archived, right? If it was me, I can never show my face on the internet ever again. I don't know that you can be embarrassed more than the way that Chantel was embarrassed yesterday. Hey, Manning, good to see you. Good morning. It was a lot, DG. I was trying to go over everything this morning to try to make sure we have it all in order. And I was like, holy shit, I don't even know if I've got it all. But I think so. I hate feet and his feet pics have made me sick. Uh, Sola says, amazing how great fetishes are cool with Chantel. They always have been, though, Solis. Thank you so much for your support. I mean, wasn't Pete's exposed for kind of writing the same things in his little diaries or whatever? Not so long ago. I'm so happy Chantel's going to watch your live and lose her mind. Well, hopefully Chantel's still in bed sleeping all that drama off. Every time I go to type bathroom, I check to see if Salah's hiding in the toilet before I sit down. I'm dead. 2023 gave right here at the end. It did. Did it make it all worth it, in your opinion, after going through this horrible, boring, snoozer arc that was Kuwait? Did it make it all worth it? Did this one event, this major, big, blowout event... Did it make it all worth it? All that time we spent watching Chantel sit on the floor in front of the blue couch, eating herself to death, bored to tears, Chantel in Thailand. I mean, it brought a tiny bit of excitement, but nothing, nothing like we experienced yesterday. Uh, hey, Jasmine. But yeah, but one thing is known now. He would definitely have dipped into that without hesitation. Agreed. Absolutely agreed 100%. Thank you so much for your support. Yes, he did. We earned this. We did. All the hours, all the boring support group meetings, sitting around, watching Chantel go on water fast after water fast after fake diet, gym arc. And then yesterday, we were finally given what we've been waiting for. She will now be known as Duty Beauty. Lime Jello, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you. Very good, says Kinda Up Shipped Creek, aren't you, Chantel? Isn't she, though? Doesn't it bring the deluxe fart box just a whole new meaning? I mean, wow, Chantel. I don't care. I love it. Thank you for being a member for eight months. So worth it. So, so worth it. I agree. I wouldn't trade any of it. Mommy J, welcome to the pores. Thank you so much for being a poor piece of crap. I appreciate you. Moonface Pondu, I've never been more happy to cut a vacation short. Two chins, one cup. <laughs> Y'all are fucking hilarious. Okay, thank you for your support. Let's go ahead and get into the very first video that we're going to watch, courtesy of the one, the only piggy, who has put together all the receipts in one tidy, neat little video. Let's start there. Okay, because there's a lot to cover. Let me go ahead and put Piggy's uh, link, the video, in the chat. If it'll slow down for two freaking seconds. Why can't I pin my own comment? Oh, shit. Hold, please. Of course, we're going to have a shit show today. I won't let me pin it. Hmm. I'll just drop it every so often in the chat. But the link I'm posting is the direct link to Piggy's channel. Piggy, thank you so much. We do appreciate you and your hard work in the community. In the community. Hold on. There she is. There she is. All righty. <laughs> Jenny the Pooh. Oh, gosh. I love it so much. I love it. Thank you, Salah. Really, honestly, thank you. Nobody's shocked. Nobody. Hold on. Oh, they don't let you pin if there's a link anymore? Put it in the description. Okay, I'll put it in the description after the video, after we end the live stream. Okay, so you cannot pin links anymore. That's weird. Hmm. Shit show for sure. That Tyrone and Tyrita Bigums of YouTube, but at least Dave Chappelle was funny. That's true, Wonder Woman. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you. So Law gets exposed on Twitter. Foodie Beauty will be pissed. So I think this was uploaded 
before Chantel had even went live and acknowledged, which I cannot wait to get to that video. But let's go ahead and see the receipts from yesterday that was dropped on Twitter by an ex Beezer. But what was her name? Somebody put her name in the chat, please. She has since deactivated her Twitter where she did the expose at. Solis says, no shit show. Salah will show up instantly. <laughs> Thank you for the support. The best 58th birthday gift from Chantel and Salah. Scat scandal this morning. Alhamdulillah. That's right, Gulf Coast granny. And happy birthday to you, hun. Oh, yeah. It's a party today, guys. Max50 says, shout out to the Beezer who started this off. I ain't mad at him. I mean, really, honestly, I get that uh, there's some people that are saying, cow tipping, why would you get involved in somebody's marriage? And, yeah, like, I totally get what y'all are saying. But, again, I mean, at, okay, if you're on the other side of that and you feel sorry for Chantel that all this has played out and everything, but, I mean, wouldn't you have felt more sorry for somebody who was in a relationship with somebody like this and it had not been exposed and they continue to stay with that person and completely in the dark. At least it's out there and it's up to her whether or not she wants to stay with him. So I say kudos to that person for exposing Salah for the cheating, no good SOB that he really is. Mm -hmm. 47 and freaking fabulous says, yes, over a year here with you ladies. Can you imagine hating yourself this much? Did you take a man that has violent fantasies back? Unreal. Thanks, me. Boy, oh boy, what do you think Shmi's going through last night and today? Could not imagine putting up with your 40-year-old daughter that got in a relationship with a complete stranger now has been exposed on the internet where she makes a living. That's got to suck. Thank you so much for being a member for 15 months, girl. We appreciate you. Um, Rage Muffin says, I've been waiting for your response, Yava. Love to you and the support group from the UK. We love you too, girl, and thank you for being a member for one month. She got DD'd again, Clarissa. How do you get DD'd twice? How? Thank you, Miss Ann. I will get over there now. Thank you for being a member for 22 months. Duty Booty, Severia. Thank you for being a member for a year. Let me go check the DMs really quick. Oh, boy. It's going to be a shit show. 1524 Scooter says, Home 6, thanks for the entertainment. You're welcome. No, thanks, Chantel and Salah, for the entertainment, Okay. Um, this is a Beezer that Salah was talking about. It's a shame the channel they got this. Oh, oh boy. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we're not going to watch that. We're not going to miss and not. No, no, I got to go over that first. <laughs> I got to look and see what that is. All right, let's get into this receipt video. Hi. There is a user named Charmotel Worlds on Twitter who claims to have been talking to Sala. I do not know the legitimacy of these messages, but you can Again, this was before Salah took ownership that these were his messages and this was his messy ass involved in all of this, okay? Inform your own conclusion. Yes, Kbella. Kbella was the Beezer's name that was in DMs with Salah showing their whole ass. It's totally fine though. And now onto the messages. Exactly, you are my slave. <laughs> uh, the fuck around and find out, fairy. Love you, girl. Fuck you, Chantel. Thank you so much for being a member for 12 months. I do believe, I do believe that this whole scenario, everything that has happened in the last 24 hours, is a big fuck you to Chantel. Don't fuck with cats. Tap it back. All right, all right, turn up your listening ears. Let's hear it. The jazz. Exactly, you are my slave. Hey, Sharmota, don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? Slut, you're gonna be under my shoes forever and ever. Bro even sent voice memos of himself cheating while his wife was away in Canada. Voice memos. It's his voice. Wow. Get down on your knees. Beg me to forgive you. Oh, 
Let's see, because I can't see shit right now. Here we go. Okay, this is the law over here in the gray. <laughs> Last night was almost as good as CPAP rescue. Almost. Pointless Bex, thank you for being a member for 12 months. I think we have topped CPAP rescue. What says you in the chat? Do you think that this top CPAP rescue? I do. I definitely 100% do. Your ass is more important it than my whole family. Heart emoji. Goddess question mark. The Beezer responded, I'm here. I love that. Then Salah responds, your ass better than my family. Right, goddess? <laughs> she responds, yes, of course. Uh-oh. All right, now it gets a little dirty and a little nasty, so uh, I guess this is your warning if you're not here for that kind of talk. We got a lot of yes in the chat. I think it definitely topped the CPAP rescue. Um, <clears throat> are you ready? Are you ready? This is Salah. This is Chantel's husband. Her bestest husband, her favorite man in the whole wide world. This is Salah having a private conversation with one of Chantel's Beezers. With one of her Beezers. DD 2.0. Salah says, and come all over your face. Sperm everywhere. You're going to swallow all of my cum load. I don't even know how I read that. <laughs> I don't know how I read that. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> DD 2.0 responds, let me hear your voice, daddy. You have the sexiest voice ever. <laughs> this is great. Well, I feel like I'm talking to a... And what does he do? What does Salah, stupid fucking Salah do? He sends her a voice recording. Hey, Kristen. Yes, sperm everywhere. <laughs> a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm going to shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. Oh, wow, that escalated. Uh-huh. <laughs> goofy dumb goofy hell bitch says poutine motherfucker poutine wow I feel like we should tap it back hold please I guess I can make this smaller now a real slave here we go it's another voice memo listen up listening ears on well I feel like I'm talking to a real dog a real slave a pure dog I'm going to shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. Jesus, Law, won't you simmer down over there, buddy? Del, thank you so much for your support. Yes, yes. I mean, everybody knows that the only kind of people that have anything to do with Chantel are degenerate motherfuckers. Degenerates. End of. She responds with, you're perfect. Hey, wake up, Maggie. I'm off work today, but I kept my work alarm turned on because I was not missing this reaction. Thank you for the support and being here. That's called dedication, girl. We appreciate you. Yuck, yuck. Hypocrisy. Welcome to True Love. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to send your address for your postcard. Back to you, Salah. <laughs> you're perfect. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> uh, let's see again uh, Salah in the gray imagine 24 hours but separating like 2 hours working then break half an hour then 2 hours working and so on it's not easy she responds with yeah I know daddy you did a good job I think he's talking about editing a fucking YouTube video this is great Cindy, thank you for being a member for seven months. Damn, he is a true dog. Dog indeed. Salah says, I wrote the script. I prepared pics with whole edit and text. Here's Salah taking credit for, I guess, one of their couple vlog videos. I'm not sure. 
Christina from Flint says, I thought it couldn't get worse than Nodder. Oh, my God. Agreed. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Demon scale voice, Jasmine and Will do. Thank you for the support. Lindsay says, the cringe foodie, this will follow you everywhere. Drop him like a turd in the bowl. That would be the smart move to make. But again, this is Chantel we're talking about. This is Chantel. Listen, listen, he's taking credit for the video. I wrote the script. I prepared pics with whole edits and text and the music and the sound effects and the transitions and the arrangements. Can't see that. Audio, etc. Intro, outro, and a lot of stuff. That's why I put a lot of efforts. Do Dino Nuggies go out in the same shape? They went in. Vitamin Chaos, that is fucking sick. Sick. Salah, do you have any response to that? Thank you for being a member for 16 months, girl. Since I uploaded it, gave me like 15 bucks, LOL, as income. <laughs> really great. Uh, the Beezer responds, it's a shame Girl World wants to give all the credit to Chantel for the script, though. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I see what you're doing, girl. I can peep game with that comment. Look up Porta Potty in Dubai. I think he likes that. Dreamer, I think I'll pass, but thank you so much for the support. Salah says, she helped me a little bit, yes, but not everything. They are so lame. You see now, my English is not bad. No, it's great. Your English is perfect. Perfect. Just good enough to expose yourself, Salah. Now here are the screenshots. Pause to read. Okay, this is Salah when he was on his real Instagram. See, he created a whole different account just to talk to this girl in private. Do you have Instagram? Oh, yeah, I will send you a message on Insta there. I think it's, and she blocked it out. I sent you a message from a different account. Look at you. Look at you being so sneaky. Just a sneaky little cheating devil, aren't you? Dino says there's absolutely no question how he is a full financial controller, Chantel. Can you imagine a shit lover controlling you? I could never Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. Not only is he controlling her money, but he has pretty much convinced her that he has earned that money. Kind of like, I mean, dude, this is the same shit that we've basically seen with Nodder. When Chantel was giving him all that money, like she really believed, she made herself believe, and he convinced her that he actually earned that money. This is the same shit we're seeing now with Salah. Wait a minute. Let me go back again. Um, we didn't read these. This is from the Beezer. You are my only religion now. I want to worship that cock daddy. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh, God. Two girls, one Salah. No offense for your old religion. Am your religion and God now anyways. But am just saying like it's sexy. The Beezer responds, yes, very. You like humiliation and blasphemy of religions too, question mark? Too hot, I think. She responds, yes, oh my God, not too hot. He says, woo, not too hot, question mark? She goes, no, I love it. What do you want me to do as blasphemy, says Salah. God, Chantel, got yourself a real winner there. Let's see, you such a goddess. Imagine that, your husband, your husband calling another woman a goddess, Chantel. Love that for you. Hey, not that, Katie. <laughs> what you want to do with my wife? The Beezer responds, get rid of her. He responds, I said you. What do you want to do? What does that mean, Salah? Are you asking if this girl wants to be involved in a threesome with you and Chantel? Oh, my God. Illyria, hello. Tractor Goose says, I swear we keep getting the juiciest drama after you telling Chantel that you're bored of her quality season finale. But to be fair, Tractor Goose, yes, we all threatened to break up with Chantel yesterday. 
but this definitely didn't have anything to do with Chantel, but boy, it worked out. Perfect timing. The Beezer responds, take her place. And he says, and her, question mark. She responds, stay in Canada. He gives her that look to the side emoji. He says, can't. I love both of you. And I think that right there, that message where he said, I love both of you, was enough for Shan. That is what Chantel seen through all of this. <laughs> Yavis' dramatic reading of these texts is the best thing to happen this year. Do it in scale voice. Yalla. b &E, thank you so much for being a member for three months. I appreciate you. I feel like it's too late now. I can't do, well, trust me, we'll get, we'll get to scale voice. Don't worry. There's plenty, there's plenty of scale voicing to come. People are saying they made this up. I struggle to believe they would create something so horrible. Do you think they made this up? No. Fallen Angel, thank you for your support. Not, not a chance. No, zero zip zilch possibility that this was fabricated drama. Now, I do think that this girl was trolling Salah to get him to say shit about Chantel to cause this whole mess. Yes, but I don't. I think Salah was completely in the dark. I think Chantel is completely fucking humiliated again. Can we just say that again? We just seen this happen with Nodder and Didi, who Nodder still lives with, is one of Chantel's ex beezers and it happened again. Again. Sha says, I'm getting serial killer vibes right now. He's too much of a pussy to be a serial killer, but I feel you, girl. Thank you for your support. Pete singing Scatman last night and saying they might be getting an apartment to do some cooking streams with Foodie has given me big hope of a stay. Nikki P was, oh my gosh, I kind of feel bad for Pete's. As much as I dislike Peter, I kind of feel bad because Chantel, I think, is going to go back to Kuwait. Because, again, this part in these texts right here, because I love both of you, is the only thing that's going to keep Chantel around. Like, that was her sole ticket to get Shan I mean, to get Salah out of all this shit. He said he loved her. Mm-hmm. She who shits herself says, I feel like this is my time to shine. And it is. Thank you for the support. Um, if this was made up, they would have kept the videos up to make that money. Yes, Clover. Exactly. Thank you for being a member for one year. They would have left all the videos up and they have been yanked, which means they ain't making a damn dime. So why humiliate yourself if you're not even going to make coin doing it? But if Peter has got his hopes up, I mean, yeah, that's on him, dude. But I mean, he really did DG. I enjoyed all that. Uh, the whole Twitter spaces last night. Wonder Woman says, Poopy fell for the okie dokie and got exposed. Exactly. Thank you for the support. He should know better. He should know Chantel. But again, like, Pete's is just that kind of dude. You know, he's always going to be there for Chantel. He's going to always open his door. If there's something that he can give Chantel, he's going to give it to her. And I feel bad if he really thinks that he's getting the old Chantel back and they're going to get their own place and they're going to be doing cooking streams and he's going to go back to being a YouTube legend and not have to worry about work anymore but again that's on him bro that's on him <coughs> oh let's look at these over here i feel like she's in danger if she returns to kuwait mandy's got a gun thank you for being a member for three months i thought the same thing like for real after all this has came out and he's been exposed out oh, there ain't no way especially the way that she talked to him on that live stream yesterday yeah, Chantel. I mean, I know that you think that you're untouchable, but I guess fuck around and find out, right? Um, Let's see. Okay, this is where she says, you're perfect. He says, you should send me money because of this. You are worthless to waste my time on you, middle finger. She responds, I have no money. He says, after you work, what you will work and how much your salary usually bitch question mark look at him trying to get another one would you ain't that crazy want to know how much her salary is how much she gets paid telling her to send him money he's dead serious too 
Salah says she will come back because the, the bypass after one year and a half. She says, well, yeah, of course. He said she didn't expect it. She will start a diet and exercise. Hope will works with her. <laughs> the Beezer said, I think I'm better for you, to be honest. So Law says, are you ready for this? At least. Okay. At least I can carry you. L O L. Let's read it again, everybody. Hello, Swifty. He stays so thin from taking dumps on randoms. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Let's read it again. We might be here a while today. It's fine. She will come back because of the bypass after one year and a half. Well, yeah, of course. She didn't expect it. She will start a diet and exercise. Hope will work for her with her. I think I'm better for you, to be honest. At least I can carry you. L O L. What a burn. Wow, from your most handsomest man, Chantel, at least he can carry the new woman he's cheating on you with. <laughs> your husband fat shamed you to another woman. So hot. Can't wait. If you be a good girl, we're going to meet up and I'm going to find my ways. Yeah, and make Chantel pay for it. Heart eyes. He says, you think so? She says, yes. He says, she pay for another girl to come see me and fuck her? She responds, exactly, heart. Nikki P says, what if she goes quiet, books an emergency flight, and the next time we see her is on the blue couch? It's very possible, Nikki P. None of this equals Chantel's keeping her ass in Canada. None of it. Salah says, imagine what she gonna do. The Beezer responds, nothing. Laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji. They're actually laughing at you, Chantel. Salah responds, nothing, Sada. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I think these, let me see. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, grape talk. All right, you've been warned. She says, well, it's complicated, actually. I don't know. He responds, ha, 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 you cute. She responds, kissy emoji, kissy emoji, kissy emoji. You've had your warning. I will grape you and your Bible and your cross. Don't worry. Mm -mm -mm. Every minute, every second, when you go outside your home and you walk, your mind will be thinking how to worship me. When you go bathroom, you will think that your face on the toilet and I going to pee and poop on your face. Who talks like this? <laughs> Let's start over. <coughs> Every minute, every second, when you go outside your home and walk, your mind will be thinking how to worship me. When you go bathroom, you will think that your face on the toilet and I going to pee and poop on your face. <laughs> Wonder Woman, thank you for your support. Okay, okay, calm down. When you sleep, you will think that you are sleeping under the bed. And am on top of you on the bed like the king. You are worthless. Just my garbage bin. I'm going to spit on your face so much. Puh. <laughs> He's the type of guy you use bear mace on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, God. <coughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> um, and make fun of them while they worship me. Worship. 
Ah, Daddy, I thought I was special slave. Yes, you are. By the way, you are lucky slave. Because for real, I never even talk with any girl since I love Chantel. So weird. Why only you? Because I was made to serve you, Daddy. Good answer, slut. You got to be proud and honored to serve my slut. Fuck, that's hot. <laughs> so hot. By the way, nowadays, there is too many like these people who like to be abused and humiliated. Beta boys. I'm the alpha. My God. My king. Yeah. Am the alpha and omega. Am Salah Almighty. Am the God and the king and the empire. <laughs> I love the fact that Piggy put this uh, over a video of Chantel eating in front of the blue couch. Oh, oh, what's that? Are you sending naughty pictures when your wife's not around? Is that what's happening? I think my chat froze. Okay, we're back. What is this? It's already been confirmed. This is the bathtub from the deluxe fart box. So Salah is sitting in the bathtub talking very dirty, very naughty, talking about pooping and peeing on people while Chantel is in Canada planning her return to see her handsomest husband in Kuwait. And this is what you're doing. Shouldn't you be out? I don't know. Uh, working Salah, paying for that brand new shiny car that you got. No, you'd rather spend time talking to Chantel's Beezers. In a very dirty, naughty way. Mm -mm -mm. Shameful. Shameful. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Pretty sure that's Chantel's blanket. Right before the New Year's, bitch. That's right, Snarky Puppy. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Look at him. Does this look familiar? Remember when Chantel went live that day and she was crying and she was smoking cigarettes? That looks very familiar, doesn't it? Sure does. Wow, she got herself a real scat man. What a damn loser. Agree, Kalari. Thank you for the support. Oh, is that it? Who has the one of him barking? Ah, can somebody stick that in my DMs, please? We got to hear Salah bark. We cannot go on until we hear the messages of him barking the knuckle toes make me want to barf can you imagine and yes he exchanged nudes those were released redacted on the twitter <laughs> i don't care i want to see it i don't care who gets mad i want to see what it looks like uh shawnee says this is the worst smut ever but i can't look away same same i want to see it all more please Thank you for your support. Hot Wasabi says, woof, woof, wax melts next. We'll see. Jasmine says, cut your flipping nails, man. Thank you all for the support. Who's got the barking freaking uh, message? Hold on. <laughs> I'm not looking at that, Dr. Sinatra. Sinatra says, just drop the picture of Chantel. I think when she ate the Lachmas and she's got what looks like shit all over her teeth. I can't believe that I didn't have the freaking barking one ready. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to rewind this and listen to Yabba reading this stuff again and again. Sick O's. Absolutely disgusting. Hold on. I know that uh, Marley Hendricks uploaded some stuff too. <laughs> Where's Nikki P? Imagine being unprepared at a moment like this, right? But what else would you expect from me? Music Biz Marty weighs in on Salah and Cabela. <laughs> they may be in communication. Of course they are. That's great. Right before New Year's 2, what a gift this is. Bust a can of biscuits. Thank you for being a member for 15 months. It truly is, Salah. Boy, you delivered. You really, really delivered. Let's see if Marley's got it in his video. It's totally fine. We can watch this shit again. Let me link Marley's uh, channel in the chat. Woof, woof. Fingers crossed that this has got the barking included. 
not Chantal calling me a whore when her husband was trying to convince me to go take out a loan so I can go and be with him for the next two weeks while she was... <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. God's law. Oh, God, this is great. I was in Canada, but okay. I'm the oh, I don't think we've read these. I will do all of these with you and humiliate you. I'm going to spit a lot on your face and stop and stomp your goddamn face and pee on you. <laughs> UK Frostbite, thank you for the support. Uh, she reaps what she sows. Love that for her. Christy says, this is exactly how my dirty text, how my dirty talk text reads, <laughs> sickos. Jennifer says, love you, Yava. Thanks for making my day. And thank you all so much for the support and being here. Miss Mary B says, this clearly comes easily to him. I think it's to say, safe to say he did this with Chantel, too. And she just hoped it would stay secret. No, see, Miss Mary B, I don't agree. I think if Chantel and Salah were, were talking like this and this was their lifestyle, I think Chantel couldn't help but to brag. We saw how she acted when she was with Nodder. She cannot hold anything back. I don't think that Salah has, I, I really don't think that he has showed this side to Chantel. I, I really think that she is shocked. When she said yesterday in that video that she is shocked that she's never seen this side, I think she was actually being honest. Claudio Beachball says, Salah using the wrong head. Love that for chance. <laughs> Thank you for the support. I appreciate you. I know I haven't been around in a while. Joined the replay gang since I started a new job. Got COVID and bronchitis last month, too. You rock as always. Oh, my goodness. One and only Puss in Boots. Hang in there, girl. Everybody's getting sick. Thank you for being a member for 27 months. All right. All right. All right. Back to you, Salah. <laughs> Great. Whore for your husband's actions. Okay, we read that one. I mean, if it wasn't me, it was going to be somebody else, Chantal. That's true. That's very true, Chantal. So, like, you can't be mad at the woman. I mean, I get it that you want to point the blame at the whore and call her a whore. She's a dirty, disgusting person that destroyed your marriage. If it wasn't her, it was going to be with somebody else. It was going to happen. Your husband isn't faithful. Your marriage is fake. You're impulsive. You married somebody you didn't even know. Come on. When are you going to... She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Remember when you bragged about you were getting married to a complete fucking stranger and now you're all upset because you're finding out shit that you didn't know about this guy? It's like, I don't even know you. It's, I don't even know that. No, you don't. Solar, Solar R. Kelly. I'm dead. Nikki P. Thank you so much for the support. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I just want you to know I just saved you reading a good chunk of that shit chat, and it will be my ringtone. Best gift ever right before New Year's, bitch. Y'all really are truly sickos, Reznor. Thank you so much for the support. <laughs> when are you going to learn? Never. She's never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever going to learn. Stump jumper, you need to simmer down over there. All right, ma'am. We're okay over here. <laughs> also, not Chantal calling me ugly. Oh, 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 pause, pause. Around your throat. He says, why? Because you are my pet. He says, cute. What a goddess. She says, I want to hear you bark for me. Woof, woof. <laughs> That's Lindsay with the nice says, this confirms the Beezers really hate Salah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's very telling when all her true long time supporting Beezers left when Salah came around. They stayed around when Nader was there, but when Salah came, they dipped the fuck out. Uh, thank you for being a member for 23 months, Lindsay. We appreciate you. Tara says, trying to imagine forgiving my fiance not only after cheating, but admitting he wanted to shit on someone's face couldn't be me, Chantel. Girl, I agreed. Thank you for the support. Jennifer says, 50 shades of Salah. <laughs> Thank you.
roll that beautiful bean footage, Marley Hendricks. Roll it! Crazy Blonde Biatch says, I was in chat earlier and someone called her foodie duty. I'm dead. Happy New Year's. Jabba Sam and the support group. You too, girl. I appreciate you. Callie's Bathroom Studio says, Cabela said, hold my Beezer spray. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. You can hear her laughing. Like, this is fucking hilarious. Listen to her snickering. Sorry it had to be you, Chantel. <coughs> ha, ha, ha. He fucking barks. Woof, 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 woof. That's going on the soundboard. It's definitely going on the soundboard. Should we slow mo it? Sure, we should. Of course, we should. What kind of question is that? Don't know. He's even got a bitch bark. What kind of dude's got a bitch bark? Anna Lynn says Salah's hoot deserves a spot on the soundboard, and he will have one front and motherfucking center, Anna Lynn. Thank you for being a member for 10 months. We appreciate you. I never expected a toilet arc, but here we are, and we ain't mad at it, Dino. Thank you for your support. Tap her back. Salah, are you here? Chantel, are you listening? Do you hear this? This is your bitch-ass boyfriend with a little fucking dainty little bark. Woof, 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 woof. If Salah was a dog, he'd be a fucking poodle. <laughs> what was all that talk about Alpha Omega? How you're like the king and that's the kind of bark that you make and that's supposed to turn some woman on that wants to be dominated? Is he for real? <laughs> uh oh, here we go. You are sexy goddess. I worship you. Are you listening, Chantel? These are text messages from your husband to one of your members of your chat. I worship your ass. 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 Does he worship your ass, Shan Chantel? No, I didn't think so. Um, okay, that's all about the video that he's talking about that he made $15 on. We've read that. I just want to make sure we haven't missed anything. It's fine. All right. All right, yep, yep. Bragging about making his little $15 on YouTube. <laughs> oh, boy, we've seen that one, too. You wear that cross necklace and humiliate it and come all over your face, sperm, Everywhere, you're going to swallow all of my cum load. <laughs> I think what's really going to be the hard part, I mean, all of it, all, all of this is going to sting for Chantel. But I really feel like what's really going to sting for Chantel is she didn't get to experience any of this. Like, she is like, I don't even know who this dude is. Like, as far as I knew, he didn't even like to have sex. Like, he told me, like, sex totally grosses him out, and I was totally okay with that. I was like, it's fine. I really, my pussy doesn't get wet anyway, so it's okay. So when all this came out, and he's talking really nasty and really dirty to a member of her chat, she is absolutely fucking floored. <laughs> Wonder Woman says, woof, 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 small dog bark. Is this a redo of Coming to America? Did he hop on one leg too? Wonder Woman, thank you for the support. Krabby Joe says, sounds like a shih tzu to me. <laughs> thank you for the support. That's what I think is really going to sting. That's what's really going to sting for Chantel. Yes, Miss Ann, there is absolutely a dick pic that has been redacted. It's been scribbled out. All right, don't worry about it. Don't get all up and, you know, oh my gosh, there's a dick pic that's revenge porn or whatever she redacted it she just wanted to prove to Chantel that his her man is out there sending dick pics 
weeks, and it has been confirmed it is Salah's belly button. All right? Well, I feel like I'm... Count Cacula says, I was driving. I had to pull over and pee on my boyfriend. Boy, Salah, you're really bringing out the weirdos, huh? Talking to a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm going to shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. Why don't you simmer down, Salah? All right? I might want to hear that again. Well, I feel like I'm talking to a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm going to shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. Sounds like he hung up on her at the end. Did you hear that? <laughs> like he's got a real old school phone. You know what it was like when you got mad at somebody back in the day and got real fucking heated and after an argument you'd slam that motherfucker down. That's what it sounded like he did at the end of that voice memo. I'm gonna shit on you and rape you. <laughs> in your face. Uh so Liz, thank you for the support. Uh let's hope not. All right. Little Sister Lozen says, well, hello, hello foodie duties. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Y'all are disgusting, man. Ah, there we go. Oh, he spit. He spit on his phone? Is that what it was? Oh, stupid me. See, I'm new to all this. I'm going to shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. Oh, yeah, that was him spitting in her face on the phone. I got you. I got you. Sorry. She hearts the message. She's like, yeah, that's exactly what I want, Big Daddy. Big Salah Daddy. I want you to spit right in my face, Salah. <laughs> You're perfect. Your ass is more important than my whole family. Heart emoji, goddess. I'm here. I love that. Your ass better than my family. Do you hear that, Chantel, when you were talking about that Salah broke your family up? He is saying that your member of your chat is her ass is better than y'all's family. Stop it, Butter Crumpet. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> God, I sure hope Gina missed this episode. Thank God she's in fucking California. <laughs> she wouldn't know what to think of any of this. Hey, BGTV. I save all my coming loads in a container on the counter. Y'all are disgusting. Disgusting. Get down on your knees. Beg me. <coughs> Get down on your knees. Beg me to forgive you. <laughs> Get down on your knees. Beg me to forgive you. Get down on your knees. Beg me to forgive you. Yes, exactly. You are my slave. Hey, Sharmuta. Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? Slut. You're gonna be under my shoes forever and ever. <laughs> You're gonna be under my shoes forever and ever. Oh, gosh. Great. Absolutely fantastic. Sh again. Salah, so, I mean, really, honestly. Thank you so much. Really, that was great. Marley Hendricks, thank you as well for gathering all the receipts. Piggy, you too. Let me drop Marley's channel again in the chat. Now we got to move on to Chantel's reaction. Now, but what you got to understand about this reaction to Salah cheating on Chantel in this video is that Chantel hadn't seen any of this, okay? Hey, Christina, longtime lurker watching on the replay. Absolutely love your dramatic reading of the messages. Has me rolling and laughing my ass off. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support and being here, girl. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, I bet so, Nikki P. I don't doubt that at all. Here's the great thing about this video that we're about to watch and what you need to remember while watching this is that Salah was made aware. Here's how I think it went down, okay? And yes, Chantel hadn't seen any of the messages. She hadn't watched any of the channels yet. I think Salah was made aware that the messages got out, contacted Chantel, admitted to cheating on Chantel, 
before she actually got to see it with her own eyes. So when you watch this reaction to Chantel breaking down because Salah has admitted to cheating on her in text messages between one of her Beezers, she hasn't seen it for herself what has happened yet. And that's very important to remember as you're watching this. She doesn't know how bad it is. She has no idea because all, all she heard was his side so far. It's not che cheating. It's changing my mind. <laughs> uh, Stump Jumper says, sounds like he's a switch walking around the fart box in black leather bondage gear, wearing a gag and barking like a fucking puppy. I mean, I look, people got their kinks. That's great. You know, whatever. No kink shaming, whatever. But if, if you're going to be into certain things, boy, you better tell your partner. All right. Because hitting them with something like that, like you're into uh, shitting and pissing on people or vice. I don't, I don't know who's a pooper and who's the poopy. I don't know if Salah's into getting shit on or if he's into shitting. I, I don't. And honestly, I don't fucking care. I, maybe I do. I do. Uh, it's fine. Whatever. Let's just watch Chantel, okay? This is Chantel's reaction to Salah contacting her and admitting that he had cheated on her in text messages with one of her channel members, okay? We saw them first on Twitter about noon and everyone freaked out. Yes, DG. What you've been waiting for all your lives. <sighs> I don't even think I can do this. <laughs> well, it's over. Oh, like He's I'm... the pooper. He's the pooper, so Chantel would be the the poopy. She would be the receiver, right? She's not the one doing the shitting. He would shit on her. Wow. You know what's funny? He wanted me to protect him. And not go live and say that it was him. I'm not going to talk about anything about our private relationship, but. So he contacted her, admitted to, um, you know, cheating on her or whatever, and then begged her not to go live and talk about this. Of course you did. Of course you did. What did you what did you say to Chantel? Hmm? Let's keep it private like everything else. Our relationship is super private. Don't forget, sweetie. I love you so much. Let's just keep this private after you've humiliated this woman. In front of everybody. I mean, Salah, you have inserted yourself so deep into girl world and it's fuckery. And you have the nerve to to humiliate your alleged wife and then ask her to keep her mouth shut after you've, again, humiliated her with somebody who's a member of her channel. And you want her to be quiet. That is absolutely insane. Why the fuck can you, well, you know, you can't talk. Why, why would I protect you when you've done nothing but, like, fucking kill me? Oh, my God. He fucking cheated on me. He admitted it today. He was talking to. You're telling the, you're telling the chat, like, they don't, know, honey, they already know. They know more than what you know, Chantel. You have no idea at this moment that it's already been out there in public. There are probably videos up. I think Piggy's video was already up at this time. When she's on here telling her, we know you ain't telling the people nothing that they don't already know. They've already seen it. You're the only one that don't know exactly what's went on. Plutes says, now that we know he loves poop, I fully understand his attraction to foodie beauty. Given she both looks and smells like it, this is the arc that we all deserve. 100% Plutes. And honestly, had it been anybody else, I think we would feel a little bit of a pity sorrow for foodie that she's going through all this but dude she had it coming she absolutely had all this shit coming uh thank you for the support plutes i was having the worst day ever this fixed all my shit we deserve this after the snooze show agreed again Chantel salah thank you thank you in a sexual way with k bella Fucking K Bella, you're a trashy whore. I hope you know that. And what you did it will come back to you a thousand. You'll never find it love. You'll never find a man. Yeah, what the fuck? Thank you so much. Oh, he just messaged me that. Good. You deserve it. You deserve everything. You deserve more than that. Oh, he's mad that I'm outing him. I'm never, ever, ever, ever. Salah, you out it yourself, bro. 
You add it yourself. You talk to somebody on the internet involved in Girl World, and then they exposed you. That has nothing to do with Chantel. Chantel didn't expose you. You exposed yourself, you moron. Salah is the shit. The on your face kind of way. Solus, thank you for the support. <laughs> Fuck men. I'm done. I'm done. I'm never ever. Oh, Kuwait arc is over. She will 100% forgive him and go back. She gave Nodder a whole ass alibi for May. Nothing will make her leave. Miss saying she already forgave him. I mean, yeah, she might have deleted the video or whatever, but she already has forgave him. She's just trying to figure out how she can best manipulate her audience to make it so it doesn't look as bad as it really actually is. That's the only thing that's keeping her from, you know, coming out and saying we're completely back together right now because she needs to make sure that she can manipulate people first. Three cheers for karma. Whoop, whoop. That's right, Kelly. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. But this would all be fine, right? When Chantel was sleeping with a married man whose family lived in another country, it didn't count. That's right, Rage Muffin. Remember when Chantel was uh, going through, quote unquote, her horror phase? Because I will stand by that that shit was completely fake, but whatever. But she was talking about how she was having sex with a married man and it was totally fine because they were in another country. And when you're in different countries, it doesn't count. Boy, Chantel, talk about eating your words, huh? Can't wait till she starts defending him for this. Also, I emailed you. Okay, Dixie, thank you so much. And thank you for being a member for 27 months. I don't even believe in God right now. Why am I wearing a fucking hijab? I don't believe in anything anymore. Yeah. And he says he, doesn't, he didn't cheat. Sorry, babe. It was just, I have to tell you, I hate myself right now. I can't believe it. Please don't tell. I, it was only this once. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck you. Fuck you. See this finger? Shove it up your fucking hairy ass. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? A beezer pays attention to you and you do that? You're disgusting. Don't fucking call me. Don't fucking call me. Don't call her. Don't ever talk to me. Don't talk don't to her. her. Oh my god. <laughs> don't do it. So it's over. Like, who the fuck does that? Who, number one, goes to somebody who's married and tries to taunt them? And apparently, oh, oh, his, his. Look at where you're at, Chantel. Take a look around. This already has happened to you once, and why are you acting shocked? That it happened again. You get DD again. His, his caveat. But I said I would never leave you and I love you. Yeah, fuck you. That's what you can do with your apology. Oh my god. I, for me, I know I cheated in the past. And trust me, I learned my lesson. I felt like such a fucking piece of shit. Like I hope you feel like now. <laughs> and not just that. I never cheated since. <laughs> Thank of all the cameo possibilities, Chantel. Thank you for your support, Jennifer. I would never do it. Never. Because you know what? The worst thing is you feel like you don't know the person that you were with for so long. I didn't even know he liked to have sex. I didn't have no idea. This is all new to me. Well, they could consciously do something like that and not, it wouldn't tear them up inside. You're more worried about your reputation of you and your family. Fuck that. I don't give a shit. Fuck. Why would I give a shit? I'll get over you. Don't worry about it. Like, you ruined our family. You ruined our family for what? Oh, it wasn't any video. It was just a... Uh, uh, I don't even know what the fuck. I don't even want to know your deviant shit. I hope fucking Allah curses you. <laughs> <laughs> See? She has no idea how bad things actually were. I just want you all to let that sink in at this moment. Chantel had no idea how bad things actually were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The poop arc. Love you, Yava. Love you too, Bridget. Thank you for being a member for 14 months. The only ones I feel sorry for are Julia and Harry. Thoughts and prayers to Julia and Harry. I told you all not to get emotionally attached to those animals. I told yous. I hate men because you know what? Yeah, there's good men and I, I hate to generalize and be sexist. But track record shows. Track record shows them. they're all trash. They all like to shit on people. They don't like to have sex with me. They like to have sex with other women. They, 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 they talk to the members of my chat. I just hate them. I, I hate them. To be honest, she was far more unhinged about Nodder. That's true, goofy dumb, goofy old bitch. Very true, very telling. That is because Nodder was willing to stick the tip in. 
Chantel never got to experience so lost him. That's the difference you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Moonface Pondu, do you think he asked her not to flush? Yes! Absolutely, Salah, sicko. I know, but I'm just done. I'm done. done. Like, I don't want that stress. Like, that's one thing when you're in a relationship you always have to worry about. Is my partner being a fucking loser? Yes, they most often are. <laughs> like, where did she get this from? This is how low the bar is for Chantel that she really thinks that this is normal behavior. Let's tap it back. Gee golly, Chantel. Because you know what? Yeah, there's good men, and I, I hate to generalize and be sexist. But here we go. Listen, take a listen to this. <laughs> Monica says, Yeah, but thanks for making my shitty days better. Love you all. We love you too, girl. That track record shows. I mean, I cheated, I know, but mm -hmm. I'm just done. I'm done. done. Like, I don't want that stress. Like, that's one thing when you're in a relationship, you always have to worry about is my partner being a fucking loser? I mean, how many of you here today that are currently in a relationship has to worry about if your partner is out there being a fucking loser? Go ahead, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you have to sit around and worry all day whether or not your partner is out there being a fucking loser. This is the weirdest shit I think I've ever heard, Chantel, and it's very telling. You don't even realize how you expose yourself on the daily. This is not normal to have to sit around and worry about what your partner is out there doing from the time you wake up until the time you go to, go to bed. If I had to live like that, I'd rather fucking not. No wonder Salah was buying her so much food. That is disgusting. Glossy Hop, thank you for being a member for four months. I appreciate you. Holy hell. Holy hell. Yes, they most often are. I'd rather be alone. But I said, I said to him at the beginning of our... Uh, it, what, you know what? Uh, we were in spaces last night for like two hours and they were talking about like how much troubles I'm um, but the thing is for me is like they keep saying that you know like f for the stuff that Chantel did when she first got there and how she was talking about Mr. A's wife and how they could get in so much trouble and yeah you would think so right and just like him sharing his dick pics with some girl and and exchanging those kind of messages they're saying that he could get in a lot of trouble but I mean they've said that shit before not saying that it's not true but maybe like I don't know. Maybe the ball gets dropped a lot over there. I don't know. I, I wouldn't want the dude to get hurt or go to jail or whatever over this shit. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But, I mean, that's on him. If he knows that's how the law works over there, you think he wouldn't do some stupid shit like that, especially with these community members. Our relationship, I said, if you just don't cheat, if you fall out of love or whatever your fucking issue is, be honest and just leave me. No, I would never leave you. I love you. No, you don't. You don't love me. You don't. And that's obvious now for sure. Like, people were right about you. That's the other worst part. <sighs> Fuck this, man. Sorry, guys. Incoming. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. And you know what? To go back off of what somebody said about her not being as upset when she was with Nodder, when she was going through all that... I, you know, I stand by that she's definitely not as upset because she felt different about Nodder than she does Salah, definitely. But I also feel like Chantel is not who Chantel was um, last year or the year before when she was going through all that shit. Like, she doesn't have the stamina to even let herself get worked up the way that she was over Nodder. Like, I don't think that she physically can get herself worked up and, and that upset the way she did with Nodder. Like, physically, she can't. Like, she's exhausted. She's very sick. She's a, she's obviously a lot more bigger now than she was then. Like, her health, everything is, is completely different. She can't act like that anymore. Um, Pizza Kitty says, Salah has given the term getting shit-faced a whole new meaning, asshole. <laughs> From now on, I only get drunk. That's right, Pizza Kitty. Thank you for your support. Um, it's all pride. Yes. No, I agree with that. But I, I, I just, she just doesn't have it in her. She doesn't have it in her to even get upset the way that she did before. Cheated with a beast. Can you fucking imagine? Like. 
Didi. Didi. Yes, we can imagine because it's happened. I don't think my life, like, oh no, it could get worse. I can't jinx it because it's on a roll. What kind of trashy, attention seeking whore are you, K Bella? You are fucking ugly on top of that. So fuck you. Like, you ruined her family for her? You're a piece of shit and I fucking hate you and you deserve every bit of this rage up your fucking ass. Is that how he likes it, Chantel? Is that how he likes it? Tell us more about what he likes up his ass. Please tell us more. And you should be thanking K Bella, you know? Because if you were smart, which you're not, we know that, but if you were, you'd say, oh my God, my husband, who I thought was in love with me, is a complete, total piece of shit cheater, and I'm going to cut him off financially, and I'm never going back to Kuwait and be done and walk away. You know? She exposed that shit for you since you couldn't figure it out on your own, which uh, something tells me that Chantel is not too shocked about things that she was... uh, um, you know, everything that she was shown, right? But no, Chantel, you're going to let him apologize and say how much he loves you, and you're going to look at those messages and cherry-pick things out and, and, and give him a pass, and you're going to crawl right back. And so in a couple of months, when you're in this position again and you're crying, again, you should be saying thank you. Sorry, I can't repeat this right now. Oh, my God. Just for validation. Oh, Foodie Beauty's like, yeah, and my husband, my husband fucking fell for it. I'm pawning my, you know what? I'm fucking auctioning my fucking wedding ring. I'm so bad. I'm- she can't pawn that piece of shit. She won't get anything. I'm so bad. Could you imagine taking that ring into a pawn shop? I'm pretty sure she'd get nothing. <laughs> I hate you. I literally fucking hate, I hate you. I don't know you. How can I hate you? I don't even fucking know you. Hey, You're pickle. a lie. You're a cheater. <laughs> oh my god, I hate I fucking hate cheaters. I hated myself when I cheated. And I hate you now. And I'm over. I'm done. It's never never. I can never be with a cheater. That's the end for me. Like everyone has their straw. Some people can forgive cheating. And by the grace of God, BB forgave me when I cheated on him. But it was never the same. I, I find it just so strange that she keeps bringing up her own cheating. You know? I was a cheater too. And it sucks. I know. I know that it made BB feel like shit. And I felt like shit when I cheated on BB. Like, you've done told us three times in this little video that you have also been a cheater. It was never the same. And I still have guilt about that. Do you know what the fucked up thing is? I love him. <coughs> I was so in love with him. And I died when he threatened to break up with me when I cheated on him. And I hope you're going through that now. So, like, yeah. I can't deal with relationships. I don't know why. Hipster Pondo says she is definitely waddling back to Kuwait. I agree. Thank you for being a member for 10 months. I mean, even if she returns to uh, to Kuwait, which she probably will. Hey, pizza, my pizza. Not yet. No, we have not. Um, Even if she returns to Kuwait and we have the blue couch and we have Chantel just sitting there eating herself to death again, at least we know. Like, it's a matter of time before shit comes to a head yet again. It'll happen. Get into the back to back like that after I haven't even healed from the previous one. Like, I can't deal with these emotions, like, and being let down. And I'm like, I'm just not, I can't mentally deal with that. Thanks, guys. Chantel, you're tired. I know, Black Zillion. I know this is the internet, and I know people are going to be eating it up. But that's, you know what? I don't care. I don't. I think she's bringing up the cheating. I know that people are saying that they're talking about it in the chat, but I think that she's definitely bringing it up, saying that BB forgave her for the cheating as a way to tell people already that, hey, I'm going to give Salal the same opportunity that BB gave me. You know, BB forgave me when I cheated on him. So she was already telling her people right then and there that she was going to forgive him for the cheating because she knows what it's like. She's been there. She's cheated on somebody and they forgave her. So she's going to do it too. What, you know what? I don't want to talk to like people in real, like uh, I talked to my mom. God. I just broke down in front of her. What do you- Your poor mother. Could you imagine what that, what that's like for her mom? And at that time, Chantel really didn't know all the details and you got to wonder like, you got to wonder, did Shmi go looking? Does does Shmi know about the community? Did she type it in? You know, Salah, Foodie Beauty. 
Did she herself see the messages? Did she, did she hear Salah bark like a dog? Did she hear him go, woof, woof, talking about graping the Bible and graping women? And what else did he say? Oh, yeah, he wants women to shit on him or shit, whatever. What do you think that she thought if she was exposed to all of that? And surely her, herself, her daughter, they've had the conversation when Chantel got with this man that she didn't, that this was a complete stranger, that this is not going to end well, mom. Chantel doesn't even know this guy and she's leaving Canada to go to Kuwait. Why would somebody who is 10 years younger than her, who's semi good looking, want anything to do with cutie, with our little cutie? And here we are a year later and Chantel's having an absolute meltdown in your house. Boy, what's that like? Thoughts and prayers for me. Yes. You can throw Buster in there too. Wrote that. I'm just like, babe, I hate myself. I have something to tell you. Why is she in the car? Where else is she going to go? Her family's not going to allow her to show her ass in their homes and live stream or video record any of it. You think she's going to go sit at a park? No. She's going to go sit at a restaurant? No. Of course she's going to be in her car. Miss T, welcome to True Love. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to send your address for your postcard to the email in the description below. Thank you. I was like, what? You can't be cheating. It's just going to be like, you know how sometimes you joke with your partner? Like, I have something serious to tell you. You're going to hate me. And then you say, I love you. No, it was something bad. <laughs> eh. I'm yeah. respectful of our privacy until you fuck me over and ruin my life. Then you can go fuck yourself. You're yeah. on you. <sighs> That's true, Butter Crumpet. She did insist on fucking her brother. That's true. You're not wrong. Anyway. Hot Wasabi says, him demanding money from a woman online speaks volumes. Agreed, Hot Wasabi. Let's end this poll. When is Chantel going back to Kuwait? A thousand votes. 82% said ASAP. 17% said never. Very telling. I'm not talking about our <laughs> private life. I'm just saying what happened. This part. Yes, I am. Because you deserve this. He's texting her right now while she's live streaming. She's responding to the texts that are coming through on her phone. Let me tap it back so you can hear what she just said. See, she's reading a message right now from him. Listen to what she says back. I'm not talking about our private life. I'm just saying what happened. This part, yes, I am. He's telling her not to discuss their private life. You think that Salah is going to expose Chantel. I think it's the other way around. I think it's Salah that is worried about Chantel exposing him. That could be very, very, very damaging for Salah and his whole scam that he has going. Because even if it falls out with Chantel, he still needs to go on and find another woman, another mark. So by Chantel exposing their quote-unquote private life could really hurt and damage what he's trying to do on the internet here in this community specifically. Because you deserve this. Like he is really concerned with what Chantel is going to say and come out of her mouth exposing their private information. Uh, bees and beat his foot, I think. I think she deactivated because normally if you get banned off of the Twitter X or whatever you want to call it, it'll say like this account has been suspended. And I don't think that was what I seen when I seen that her account was, uh, I think it was deactivated. I'm not sure. I think she might've got a little bit of some backlash and some people weren't happy. I don't know. Not sure. Next thing he'll be on hater channels telling them all about our life. Watch. You're not like anyone else. I now believe Shanta when she says Salah makes money. He asked that girl for cash if she wanted the sexy talk to continue. He has other cash cows. I can believe that. 
Um, Desirable Death Fat, thank you for your support. Yeah, there's a lot of desperate Bettys out there. And I mean, dude, take a look at Dee Dee. That is a great example. Like, we've already been through this. And, like, Dee Dee wasn't a troll. This girl, I feel like, was never serious about it. She really just wanted to fuck with Chantel. But there are women out there who are dead ass serious, like, hey, Salah, if you'll date Chantel, I know you'll date me. I'll give you money. I'll give you a place to live. I'll give you a, I'll get you a green card to come live in my country. Absolutely. They're probably lined up through the fucking back door, dude. I have freedom of speech now in Canada. Yeah, I can say the F word all I want. Thank you, dear mom. <laughs> oh. I'll get a grip. <sighs> if he was caught cheating online, he's probably caught cheating. I don't know. I don't, but that's the thing. Like, you can't be with someone after that. Like, it can't be the same. How the fuck do you, you don't, I don't even know him. That's not the person I married. Like, or maybe it wasn't. He just hit it. Like, I can't deal with this shit. I just want to be alone and be in peace and live out the rest of my miserable life alone and bitter. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore about anything about that stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Marty's the dude that was trolling Chantel and her family. <laughs> Remember when Chantel came out and she supported that Cyrax dude? <laughs> That's who he is. All we need is for Dee Dee to live in order for Salah. Could you imagine? Holy hell. Uh, Suzanne, the Swedish Yarny hooker. She's going to go back to Kuwait and Salah's going to make her disappear in the desert for dishonoring him publicly. Holy hell, Chantel. Chantel, don't do it, girl. We just play when we say, you know, we talk about you passing away. We really don't want you to, all right? Don't go back to Kuwait. Mm-mm-mm. It's over. You're better off without him. He's so disgusting and depraved things. He doesn't respect my What do you mean? You guys saw the conversation? See? She has not seen. At this time, she did not know how bad things actually were. Look at her. You guys have seen it? You know what happened? Really? Oh my God! Look! Look at the look at the look of shock on her face. Look at it. You guys have seen the messages. Wow, that's a good that's a good screenshot right there. No, oh, I didn't let him poop and pee on me. What the fuck? That's what I get. Hold on. I'm not moving on. So all this time, you f it's over anyway. That's a part of him that hit like it might not it might be or never never. Fuck this shit. I'm going to Cuba. Fucking fuck you. Thanks, Black Cillian. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry guys. I know a lot of you liked him and it's disappointing. You insult me in front of people. Yeah, I am insulting you in front of people. He asked her to fly to Kuwait before you got back. Damn, where were we? I don't give a shit anymore about anything about that stuff. Anyway. It's over. You're better off without him. He said disgusting and depraved things. He doesn't respect women. What do you mean? You guys saw the conversation? Here it is. <laughs> No, oh, I didn't let him poop and pee on me. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I've been seeing the combos. I don't want to look at them. Why would I want to look at that? He admitted it, so I believe him. So, <coughs> thanks for those of you who are here being nice. But... He asked her to fly to Kuwait before you got back. Are you fucking serious? Oh, nice. Yeah, whatever. You disgust me. You're a disgusting human. You're not a Muslim. You're a fucking fake. Fake ass fuck. You deserve everything. Oh well, wasn't meant to be, I guess. Applebee's. <laughs> oh my god, Applebee's! Make me laugh, please. He did say that? That's disgusting. You're a fucking idiot. Oh my god, you're an idiot. 
<laughs> so over. I butter crumpet. I don't know if she knew that they were out there. I really don't. Maybe she did. Maybe she did. And you know how Chantel is just very impulsive. She just grabbed her keys, grabbed her phone, took off on her Kia, and then fired up her live stream. Well, I learned my lesson last time with that bird. Don't cry over a piece of shit for too long. Let's be <laughs> He's boring and dull. Yeah, her calling him a fake Muslim. <laughs> Thanks, Black Sillian. Sorry, guys. I know a lot of you liked him, and it's disappointing. You insult me in front of people. Yeah, I am insulting you in front of people. You don't think- Exactly, Hot Wasabi. She didn't know at this time that they were out there. She just thought that he was coming clean. Girl, the whole entire community seen all of Salah's shame. Think you deserve that after what you did? Like, this is the thing. People get outed for their disgusting behavior, and then they fucking cry about it. <laughs> like, what? Thanks, golden girl. I don't want any more husbands ever. I don't trust another human. But... And see, what y'all got to understand is she has to show some kind of restraint. She can't just, I mean, she's not going live because she doesn't want to give you all anything on Salah. You know, I think a lot of it has to do with her situation, her living situation in Canada right now. Like, her family has told her to knock the shit off. You're not going to show your ass while you're staying here with us. Or you're going to get kicked out. So it's not just him that's keeping her from going live. It's also her family. So I would imagine all this going on and the fact that she can't do what she's used to, which is going online and just airing out all of her business is absolutely eating her alive. Oh. You don't even care that I'm hurt. You just care about your fucking reputation. One that you ruined. You ruined, just like Natterd, blaming me for ruining. He wasn't completely honest with you. She ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. That's the only thing that he's worried about, that you're going to ruin his reputation. And once you are done and he's done, got everything that he possibly can get from you, that might keep him from getting what he needs to get from the next one. The next Mark. Talked to her for a long time and invited her to stay. Really? You fucking piece of shit. You're not a man. You're a mesquine. You're a boy. You're a boy. You know why? Because boys treat women that way. Not men. If there's any fucking men in this world. You don't give a shit about me, you fucking liar. I hate you so bad. Go with her, see how long your fucking life lasts. Listen to this part right here. This is very telling, too. Listen. A shit about me, you fucking liar. I hate you so bad. Go with her, see how long your fucking life lasts. She can't even afford a fucking membership sometimes, and she's a piece of trash. She can't even afford a membership sometimes. She's a piece of trash. Why would he be worried about what she can and cannot afford? Simply Rose to you. Thank you so much for joining the official support group. I appreciate you. That is crazy. Like she's telling him, like, go ahead, go with her. She doesn't have a pot to piss in. So tell me again why Salah is really with you, Chantel. Tell me how it's not the money and that he makes his own money. Let's hear it again. There's any fucking men in this world. You don't give a shit about me, you fucking liar. I hate you so bad. But with Mercy, your fucking life lasts. She can't even afford a fucking membership sometimes. And she's a piece of trash. Broke. Why would Salah want to be with the broke bitch? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry. I'm never, I'm never, never, never. Fuck this shit. I'm going to Cuba. Fucking fuck you. And I'm farting on camera again. I don't give a shit what you say. He came clean because he was exposed. There's screenshots, pics, and voice messages. Ah, uh, she's gonna fart on camera again. Give it away for free, Chantel. Give it away for free. He wanted to rape pee and poo on women? What? What the fuck? I hope all the Beezers take note that Chantel is keeping track and judging if they can't afford memberships. Isn't that very absolutely insane that she knows who and who cannot afford a membership? Good on you, Chantel. Fuck. She's probably got a little notepad somewhere full of all the Beezers who are members, and then when I guess they don't rejoin membership, she probably highlights their name. It's great. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know him. Don't know him. Let's go eat. Let's get out of here. Nashy. Oh my god. Let's eat. Like you just start thinking about everything you did with this person and they're living a whole other kind of... Ugh. 
Like, I would be married. I would spend the rest of my life with this person. Who, like, you know, in the movies, like, the husband and wife is like, they have this, like, picture perfect relationship. And then, like, the, the husband has some weird, or the wife has some weird fucking dark, disgusting fetish. <laughs> So for anyway, that's a part of him that he, like it might not might be just who he is. And I, I so she knew something. She told him that she, he must have told her that something was definitely up as far as fetish is concerned because she's talking about it, but she's not being specific. So I wonder. I would love to know that. I would love to have heard the conversation that Salah had with Chantel to let Chantel know that not only did he cheat on Chantel. But he cheated on Chantel with one of her Beezers and the conversation was very fetish like. What do you think that he said? How do you think that he said it? Yep. Fulfill that. I'm so not into that shit anymore. I'm 39. I'm fucking diabetic and I'm not into fucking weird fetishes anymore. She's got to dry vagina. We knew that. We knew that. Chuck and his duck said she may not have a pot to piss in. But she has a willing face to piss on. Never thought I'd ever type that. I never thought I would ever read that, Chuck. Thank you so much for your support. Cam Burglar Pondu, thank you so much for the super sticker. <laughs> that's disgusting. Well, disgusting. there you go, Pinella. That's what you deserve to be, his fucking toilet. His that's toilet. Flattering. So he has to be able to fetish by degrading women, then. That's what he, That's disgusting. Disgusting. That Sick. Go to hell. Go to hell. Salah. I'm not moving on. So all this time... You fucking were talking to this person and invited them there. Where? 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 Like, what? You're an idiot. I don't get it. I don't get it. This is how manipulative they are. This is how, like, I feel crazy. Like, what? Like, when? Oh, my God. There's always time. There's always. You're such a liar. You deserve everything. I hope you get shamed for eternity. Fuck you only one time, my ass. My ass. There's screenshots of you being talking about them for a long time. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. It was K-Bell. Yeah, so I hope it was worth it. Her family is the control she needs. He already humiliated. He's already humiliated. No joke. If she goes back, she will really disappear. This has ruined his life already. Chantel, girl. You in danger. Don't go back to Kuwait. Or do. I mean, hell, what can we do about it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, whore. Samantha, for the support. I appreciate you. He said he likes big women, not skinny. Anyway. Burn in house. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that he's had Chantel like farting in jars or something? And and selling them to like other local degenerate men over there in Kuwait? Do you think that's like been the side hustle? This whole time they keep talking Beezer spray, Beezer spray, Beezer spray, trying to get us to look in one direction. And now it's we're starting to connect the dots. Uh-huh. I'm starting to connect the dots here. Huh. I think she knows Miss Ann because people are telling her in the chat. I think that's what that's what she's talking about. Goofy dumb, goofy ho bitch. She knew. Remember him watching the grape scene in Grand Theft Auto? I forgot about that. Girl, you right. Oh, man, I forgot all about that. Thank you for the support. Wow. Now, Salah. Uh-huh. We're like little detectives around here. Somebody needs to put the freaking Salah barking in those voice memos over that little clip of Salah watching that scene in Grand Theft Auto where they were having sex. That would be fucking amazing. I need a cigarette. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so glad that this came up before you went back. I'm so pissed. Thank you, Lulu. The only reason you admitted to it, you lying sack of shit, is because you were exposed. Oh, my God. She really is that stupid and that arrogant to go back to Kuwait. You all realize that, right? <laughs> Krabby Joe. You realize that she is that dumb and that arrogant to take her ass back to Kuwait. Man, could not be me. I don't. <laughs> Fucking idiot. What's the plan now? Yeah, it's given Beezer Spray an entire new meaning. Yeah, my cat's there. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. I have to stay here. I'm not going back here. But... Unless you have any friends that, that want to be, unless you have any real man friends, it's a lot that you want me to marry. Then how about that? Maybe I'll go back if you have like a real man. That's true, Chicken Pickle. He's threatened grape seriously before, too. Yep. 
blowing her nose and wiping her teeth. <laughs> Sending all my love and support. Thank you. I barely knew him. You're right. I did. You're right. I did it. Because I didn't know he was into all this shit. Yeah, you're welcome for insulting you in front of people. You deserve it. Thank you for humiliating me in front of people with all of your sex, weird sex shit. Thank you. A friend just messaged me that they saw the screenshots and you said some vile things. I hope it was worth it, Kay Bella. What are you looking for? Two minutes of clout? You think people are just going to like make you internet famous off of this? You're a fucking delusional moron whore. Go get a life. Chantel, say thank you. Say thank you that somebody exposed what kind of man that you're with to you. You should be thanking that woman. I mean, I get it. This shit's got to be humiliating, but I mean, save your life. Uh, remember when she did fart on camera and asked if he heard that? Something is weird here. Tanya, you ain't wrong. Yep, I do remember that. They are disgusting and they are sickos. Thank you for your support. Uh, for a mission, if she goes back, she will never, ever be able to leave again. I don't even know if she'd want to leave. Honestly, you think she's going to feel comfortable if she does go back to Kuwait to leave Salah again to go to visit Canada? No. I don't know. It's crazy. Thank you for being a member for 15 months. <sighs> the whole situation is absolutely insane. All of it. The fact that Chantel really met some dude in another country in the Middle East and moved to Kuwait in less than a month and then uh, claims to marry him and stayed over there in all these different apartments that they have, it's that right there is weird. And then all this shit is being exposed about him being a fucking degenerate, losing, loser, just fucking sicko freak. All of it's weird. All of it. <laughs> yeah, really. I don't believe it's the first time either. I'm not stupid. I don't care if it was only once anyway. If it's once or a thousand, <laughs> it might as well be the same for me. I really don't care. I feel the same if you tell me a thousand right now because I don't know him. So, the song, like, it, I don't know him. I never saw this side of him ever. Like, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> you know? You saw the golden girl? Holy shit, Salah, where's your brain? Up his fucking hairy ass. Like, rape stuff? Like, I don't even know this guy. I just bumped her up to two times speed. I had to do it with someone on the internet? Like, are you fucking retarded? I, I even said to him at one point, I was like, well, I don't have to worry about you cheating on me with anyone, like, talking to any girl, because you wouldn't be that dumb. <laughs> oh, I admitted him. Kayla, was you just a scam? No, it's not a scam, actually. actually. No, Ratatouthi, I heard her say that. Tap it back one minute. She asked him if he had any real men for her to marry one of his friends. And you know what's so fucking crazy about that is that she absolutely would. If one of Salah's friends, like if she was to really break up with Salah, she would totally date one of his friends. She would 100%. She's serious about that. That's how crazy and insane this woman is. Um, Thank you for being a member for eight months. Chantel, you should be more worried that your husband has been with you a year and hasn't shared Hasn't shared this, but told a stranger after days. Exactly, Lindsay. That makes you wonder too, right? And I, I think she is. I think, I don't know, man. Like, I go back and forth, maybe, that they were doing some weird shit behind the scenes. But I'm more leaning towards, like, this is all brand new to her. Like, when she says, this is not the person I knew, like, all this is new to me, I think she's being serious. I really don't think they were very sexual. And I definitely don't think they were sexual in a freaky uh, shitting and farting on each other type of way. I don't. Don't forget Thailand. He had a great time there. Yes, I think the majority of the time that Chantel was in Thailand, she was in the hotel and he was out in a boot alone and by himself. At least that's what he wanted her to think. Thank you, Moonface Pondu. I appreciate you. Uh, PMA. What happened, Manning? Manning, get yourself, get your life together, Manning. All right, come on, for fuck's sakes. PMA, I think Manning's butt modding. Sorry about that. <laughs> At a time like this, Manning, come on. Like, it's, no, it's not a scam. <laughs> I wouldn't scam people. Was this Kate Bell is real or not? Oh, I know. They, Black Zillions, they think they're hurting me, but in the long run, I always move on. And they're the ones left in the dust. Look at Messy Poo. How far did your clout get you? Anyway, um... Whatever I'm done. I'll the most he did was kiss her forehead behind the scenes. That's what I think too. Um, 
Notice how she wasn't worried about her sexual health and what she could have acquired from him. Yeah, like the way she was when she found out that Nodder had cheated on her. Those are facts. Hey, Peapot Fairy. Yep. I think he told her he was a feeder. Get over it. Fuck. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Leave Manning alone. She's sick, you bully. Aw, oh, poor Manning. You're just another big gulp. No, seriously. I mean, what? Like, I'm not going to ruin my fucking life. I'll just, I don't know. I have to stay here. No, he didn't. Boy, but think about this. Like, you know, I don't I don't think like Chantel's um, like before all this happened and her wanting to return to Kuwait so soon was necessarily because she missed the law and because she missed her family. I think because she wanted to escape away from all her problems, her severe debt, her family probably being on her ass about everything that's going on in her life, her health problems. She's like, fuck this. I'm going back to Kuwait to where I'm with somebody who takes control of my money and pays all the bills. And I pretty much have everything I need. And I'm okay with sitting on the floor, eating in front of a blue couch. Like she had done made up her mind. That was the life that she was going to live. That was going to be the easier decision for Ch Chantel rather versus staying in Canada, trying to get weight loss surgery, trying to take care of her health, trying to take care of her finances, trying to figure out a place to live. That takes too much work. And then this shit hits, and now it's like, well, either I got to look like a whole fucking moron and uh, accept this man's apology and that he's never going to do it again. And even after I've outed everything on YouTube and hope to God that he doesn't take me out in the desert somewhere and leave me, or she's going to stay in Canada and face all that shit. Goofy dumb, goofy hoe bitch says, someone get her one of those wheelchairs. We need details. We do. And I hope eventually she gives them to us. If she gets herself worked up and mad enough, we might get it. Uh, you don't know. Because yesterday she released that video, that uh, um, I still love him video or whatever. And she took it down as soon as Kay Bella released proof that Salah sent a dick pic. So, I mean, you can push buttons with Chantel, that's for sure. Flow. <laughs> it's not in my name, and uh, the car's not I agree. I stand behind that. Kay Bella did your ass a favor, Chantel. My name. So, it's not... Now you know, in 4K, the kind of man that you were dealing with. He didn't get a car. He has to pay for it. You've been through worse. You know what you need to do. Thanks, Ghostface. He said he loved her. Oh, nice. You're such a piece of shit. Honestly, you're such a piece of shit. You know what I learned from this? When people tell you are very insistent right from the get-go they're not cheaters because natured was like that too i'm not cheating i'm not cheating yo you are cheater you you fucking nosferatu and don't ever talk about me and dad either because i can rake you through the fucking coals trust me you are a piece of shit and you know it and now you are too i'll let you do my piece of shit man list you know who wasn't a piece of shit bb never cheated on me he was so loyal <laughs> hey girl hey all he has to do is fake love her let a death fat die is fake peace <laughs> thank you for being a member for 10 months girl i appreciate you welcome everybody Yeah, now it is all over. He's messaging me. I told you not to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you ever again. I can't forgive this ever. Thanks, guys. Pete's, yeah, Pete's never, never cheated. He's Look, at, do you, are you noticing her mouth movements and everything? Just pay attention to her mouth. Yeah, now it is all over. He's messaging me. I told you not to Boy, talk to there's me. all kinds of thoughts running through her funkle brain right now. Like, what is she going to do? And what is she going to do? If she has to stay in Canada, she just said it. She's going to run right back to Pete's. And that dumb fuck. I don't want to talk to you Peter, you're really going to let yourself be in a position again where Chantel is going to do this again to you? Again? Really? I can't forgive this ever. Thanks, guys. Pete's, yeah, Pete's never, never cheated. He's like literally hey yami thank you for being a member for 11 months finally made a live and oh boy what a live to join gives popcorn in the kitchen a whole new meaning that's right girl the only person i know with values and that he sticks to and i like hung out with him and i would have to keep my friendship with him secret oh yeah i was talking to pete this whole time and i hung out with him yesterday so fuck you i'm not gonna get rid of my friend for you and i saw him when i got here but i didn't do anything sexual He's not modding the chat. He's not a mod. So now you're free. I know, Mike. I want my cat. 
Why does anyone want to pay for her to come here? It's like 5,000 bucks. Yeah, in her brain, it's just Harry running on a wheel. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Imagine your husband being this sick and degenerate and him still not wanting to touch you. Ooh, Nikki P, that's so true. Anyway, um, because now I have to get my own place, for sure. We won't have you helping each other financially anymore, so I'm on my own. Oh, did you hear that? Tap it back. Listen, guys. We won't have you helping each other financially anymore, so I'm on my own. He wasn't helping you financially, Chantel. You've been helping him. You've been giving this dude your money. And now you're telling him, we won't be helping each other financially anymore, Salah. You want to come out here? You want to cheat on me with my own members of my own community? We're not helping each other anymore financially, are we? No, we're not. For sure. We won't have you helping each other financially anymore, so I'm on my own. Go get another big hug and go apartment shopping. <laughs> yeah, pizza and I split. That's the thing. Like, one, one bedroom is like 1400 some places, but you can get like a two-bedroom for 1400 That would be 700 each. But we enable each other's bad habits. <laughs> Like he's the only person I trust. Damn, she's already done the math. She's already done the math of how much it's going to cost her if they move in and get an apartment together. You hear that, Pete? She's already got it all figured out. Seven hundo a piece. Can you handle it? Can you handle it, Pete? The cats are safe over there. My fucking wife. And I was like a shitty friend to him because I had to keep him secret. And even though he understood, he's like, oh, well, he's always, that's, his, that's his reaction and everything. Eh. I mean, you don't want to disrespect your husband. I get it. <laughs> I'll ask you, you're picking up all the messages. No, oh my God, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Does she want intimacy with Salah? I doubt it. I don't think, Sh I think that's too much work for Chantel. I don't think Chantel is at all interested in being intimate with anybody at this point. <clears throat> Not even Nodder could bring it out of her. Uh, oh, hey, so Leon. Look at this pathetic shit. Look at this. You know why she had this painting in her car, don't you? Why, how she had it there just to pull it up and show everybody and shed her few little tears. She got that painting from her mom's because she was dead ass serious when somebody said she should auction it off. That's what she was going to do. She wants people to pay her for this painting <laughs> of BBJ and Sam. How fucking pathetic. No, I don't even have them anymore. I gave my cats away. Someone painted this. No, I don't even have them anymore. I gave my cats away for you. No, I don't even have them anymore. I gave my cats away for you. No, I don't even have them anymore. I gave my cats away for you. Give my I give my cats away for you. Sam looks more real than BBJ. <laughs> Pete says major. Yeah, he's a really good person. I know he's a little- Chantel is dead ass surviving right now on gift cards. That's how she's surviving, how she's able to go out and go to any of these fast food places that she's going is because she's surviving on gift cards. She doesn't have a penny to her name right now. One can only wonder why. So now she needs to auction off that painting so she can get herself a little coin because she's done handed over all of her pesos to her degenerate, disgusting, fake husband. We love that so much for you, Chantel. Oh, West Coast melting pot. I don't even think I'd want to know. Imagine what he got into alone in Thailand. No freaking thanks. Thank you for being a member for 13 months. Ugh. Odd. He's so disgusting. I knew he was a creep. You can look at him and you can see it. But he'll tell you about he is. I am too. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a divorce. He complained that all of his money went to pay for your ticket. What? <sighs> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. 
she she showed the painting because she plans on selling it. That's why she sewed it or showed it. That's why it was in her car. <coughs> I gave my cats away for you. That needs to go on a soundboard. Don't worry. I'm definitely going to go through and clip out a bunch of audio from this, uh, <laughs> this live stream. It's going to be great. Thank you, Yulia. I appreciate you. I gave my cats away for you. Who does that? Seriously. Who does that? He will get the money to get her back there. And him doing that will show her he loves her, not by using her money. I don't know, Nikki. We'll have to see. So I don't think Salah's got it like that to get a hold of a couple thousand dollars to fly Chantel back home to Kuwait. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to cry enough to her freaking mom and her mom's going to get sick of it and say, here, take the money. Fucking go. You remember back in the day when you'd be back, Mom, please, can I please have money so I can go here? Please, I want to go skating. I want to go to the movies. Please, no, please, fine, take it, go. This is the same thing we're seeing with Chantel stomping her feet trying to get back to Kuwait. He is a true friend. Go to pizza. Thanks, yeah, you're right. He is. trying to do a GoFundMe. I can't do that. For Julia. Julia! I'll just try to save money once I get situated because I can't have a cat now. Go to the place yet. Actually, I probably could. Look at her already thinking about getting another cat. Can you believe that? You're crying over your two cats while holding up a painting. You're talking about how you had to leave Julia behind and now you're thinking about getting another cat to a place that you don't even have yet. Go to pizza. He made you leave pizza while you get to cheat. He gets to cheat. He's obviously been cheating. Hope this doesn't happen out of the blue. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to talk about him, like, because he was good to me. I mean, obviously not in secret, but, well, yeah. And I don't want to talk about our relationship, but I'm definitely. Duh. Duh, stupid. Of course he had to be good to you. You had to continue to hand over your money every month, Chantel. Like, you really think this guy was nice to you because that's just the kind of man he is? If he was mean to you and if he showed you his degenerate side, do you think that you'd be uh, handing him over your YouTube coin every month? No. Oh, he was so good to me. He was so kind to me. He wasn't like Nodder. He's never abused me. No, of course he fucking hasn't. Because every month on the 21st, he expected a deposit in his bank account. He had to do what he had to do. A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do, Chantel. God. Trying to get back and needing two seats this time. Yeah, Nikki, that's the question. When Chantel goes back, will she purchase the two seats that she says that she so desperately needs in order to fly? Or will she just risk it all again? Stay tuned. <laughs> Outing. I mean, how are you gonna say, oh, you're outing me? What the fuck? Like, somebody did a video with all the screenshots. You want me to lie? I'm not lying. No, that was always a problem with, with Natter, too. He always wanted me to lie to cover his ass, and I fucking hated anything, I, any time I had to do it. But when it came to abuse, no, I'm not lying about that. She has the voice sense. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, God. The only reason he came clean is because he's exposed. Thanks, Jenna. No, you don't love me. You'd never love me if you do that. Like, what? Unless you're one of those deviants who can't control these weirder fantasy urges. I don't care. Nope. She could get two cats poop and pee. <laughs> I know me. I know this will be huge for him, but even if I didn't come now and say this, people already knew. That's why he's coming clean me. That's the reason. Because he was outed by this person. I did, Kayla. The only person with a wrench. Oh, Rosemary's baby too. No vanilla sex male laughs like that girl. I'm not taking him back. Yeah, I'm okay, squeaky. I mean, no, I'm not, but yeah. I'm not. I can't. I can't be with someone like that. There's no way. There's no way. Nikki says, I bet she has to purchase two seats now for her to say that. It means she was warned. Probably, Nikki. Wait, nope. So she has to pay double the cost just to get back to Kuwait. Holy shit, Chantel. So. <laughs> no, and literally, what do you mean a way to forgive him? I'm, I'm not. What did I say? There's no way. There's no way I can. No, I can't live in Kuwait on my own. Mm, Angelica, thank you so much for being here, hon. I appreciate you. Ah, there we go. What's worse is he fell for this. What did he do in real life? Yeah. 
What's a cheater? Yeah. In, in, except in my case. I, know, I haven't cheated since, so. At that time, I did it. Why are you parking behind me? Go away. Oh, no. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Name her next cat, Scat. Oh, no, no, no. He's still great. Oh. I'm sorry, every time I think about it, I get mad again. Like, okay, I'll just end with saying I fucking hate your guts. Big time hate you. You're a liar. Cheater. A scumbag. <sighs> Meep. Thanks, guys. I mean, but really, honestly, Chantel, can you really sit here and say that you're shocked by any of this? I mean, maybe I'll give you that you didn't know that he was into the kind of fucking weird shit that he was into, the shitting and pissing on people or whatever. But are you really shocked? Really, honestly, like dead ass honest question. Are you really shocked to find out that this man who is 10 years younger than you, who is n not a critter like Notter, who's not that bad looking, okay, um who didn't know you at all, who you have financially taken care of since the day that you have talked to him on that Tinder app, are you honestly shocked that he's fucking around with other bitches? How can you sit there and say that you really are just completely floored that this man who you don't know is cheating on you? How? If he gets her back to Kuwait, she'll never come back. No, never. Lazy. I mean, even if, like, she gets to Kuwait and he doesn't take her out to the desert and leave her there, okay? Even if that doesn't happen, you know, even if, you know, like, he keeps her around so he can take her money, blah, blah, blah. Chantel's not going to make it back just because of her health. And because of her lifestyle, that would be an, another reason on top of, you know, it's very possible that you've done push so many buttons with Salah that he could take you out in the desert and leave you for the freaking camels to eat. That's definitely a possibility. But if even if that wasn't the case, yeah, she wouldn't make it back just due to her health and her lifestyle choices. But she can't sit here and actually look into this camera and and be floored that this man actually got caught cheating on her. You can't be. Oh, Miss saying I've already watched it. Yeah, she did a good job. But we already knew just by looking at that community tab post that Salah didn't write that. We're going to get to that too. Waffle bees. Why is that stop going? Time to bees. Thanks, guys. Oh, teardrop. Thank you. I didn't even see what he said yet. I don't know if I want to. I don't think I want to. You're disgusting, nasty. I mean, fake ass. <laughs> You're such a fucking fake ass. Disgusting. Yeah. I don't have nashies. I want to eat. When I'm sad, I don't eat. <laughs> yeah. He was furious after the last fake breakup. She said much more this time. Yes, she did, butter crumpet. He must have partaken to me, but I really think this one's just trying to get you to the press. Yeah, I know. I'm going to keep moving forward without him, obviously. Because you don't love me if you did that. Mm -mm. So now you're free to talk to all the dirty whores you want in your chat, just like with what's his face. Disgusting. <laughs> Solis says, first trip back to Kuwait is a camping in the desert. She loves it so much, though, right? <laughs> Thank you for the support. <sighs> yeah, it's serious. She isn't eating, guys. <sighs> yeah. She's not eating because she's out of money and all she has is a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's better to learn about a bad parent earlier than 10 years down the line. Good fortune. I know, but it hurts now. I have feelings like maybe it's not meant to be because nothing was ever working out. You know? Like. Because you're delusional. You're delusional. You're with a man who's 10 years younger than you, who lives a completely different lifestyle, 
who is capable of actually leaving the house. I mean, you set yourself up for all of this. The same shit you did with Nodder. It's the same fucking thing, dude, but to the next level. His spouse was in another country, so it's not cheating, right, Chantel? Exactly, Yulia. And you know what? Honestly, she might come back and say some shit like that just so she can tell the uh, the people why she decided to give him a pass on cheating. Because we know that she is. She already has. Just a lot of things weren't working out. And so I'm like... A <laughs> desert nap for <laughs> Chantel. Y'all are fucked up. Is this a fight for God? Like, I'm not supposed to. You know, I don't know. No, I, I'm not taking off my hijab. God forbid Chantel date somebody on her level. God forbid that Chantel actually date for real, true love. How come you can't just date for love, Chantel? Why don't you actually date somebody on your level? And then maybe this shit will stop happening. All these bad things that have happened to you in the last, what, two, three years? Did you ever think about that? She's like, do you know the kind of quality of men that I'm going to get in my position now, Yabba? Do you understand that I'm a 600-pound death fat? Do you understand the kind of men that want to date a 600-pound death fat? Yes, we do. Yes, yes, we do. There's somebody for everybody. I think maybe it's a sign from God that I'm not meant to be with this person. And sometimes we get signs like hurtful ones, you know? You have to focus on you, yeah. Some people want to see you hurt so badly. I know, look here you go. I don't really care. If hey, I care, Dre. I would hide and not tell anybody about this, like, so that they don't get the satisfaction. I'm not even thinking about anybody except myself right now. And I just have to process this. Please read the text that bears him. No, I don't want to because, I, I mean, I love, I still have love for him. So I don't feel right hurting him. <coughs> you know. Peach is perfect for her. As Jam is perfect for her. I mean, that's the kind of level you need to be dating on, Chantel. But she thinks she's too above those, those kind of dudes. Just gonna keep living my life. She thinks that she totally deserves somebody who's 10 years younger than her that's semi attractive. You know, somebody not too hard on the eyes, like the critter that is Nodder, like the critter that is freaking S Jam and Pete's. Mm -mm. She needs herself a looker, guys. If I do, I don't want another relationship, but if I, I'm just gonna have fun, but I can't do that as a Muslim can I? So I have to really think what, my, what I wanna do with myself. So. No, I don't enjoy dating anymore. I think just being alone is better. You know, and having Pete as a friend. And I have you guys to talk to. You. Thanks, Daphne. <laughs> so now I got cheated on. <laughs> I get cheated on. Hey, it's Waterway. Do you remember you had Kay Bella on your list? Did I? Is Kay Bella on my list? I have my book here. Let me finish letting this video play and I'll try to find it. Thank you, it's Waterway. Good to see you. Why does this guy keep driving by me? Go away. You're in a what public parking lot, stupid. I got a home to the law wrote in here. That's great. You can keep my bias and give them to your next bitch. <laughs> oh, <what do> I... <laughs> oh gosh, I'm dead. Seriously, after outing all this stuff online, if she goes back, her life could be in a lot of danger. She has insulted his family and him. Lilith, I agree. And again, that's on Chantel. If Chantel is that stupid to do such a thing, I mean, what can you really do other than set back? I figure what will happen if she ends up going back to Kuwait, if she can get herself back into Kuwait, one day she'll be there and the next day she just won't. We'll probably never know. Uh, thank you for being a member for 20 months. Hey, Airy Pepperoni. Desperation is a bitch. Imagine accepting that back because you wanted to prove the haters wrong. Accepting that degenerate couldn't be me. Agree, girl. Thank you for the support. She who shits herself, do you think that he'll eventually love her and touch her, or does she just not care as long as he's willing to squeeze her cheeks in videos? Yes, the second part of that, she who shits herself, I think as long as he's willing to claim her online and fake love her, that's all she cares about. And really, he provides a lifestyle that she's totally okay with. Like, 
Chantel really doesn't. I don't think that's why she's so shocked. She's like, I don't even know that person. Like, oh my God, what are all these kinks? Last I checked, Salah's dick didn't even get hard. You know, that's like, I really think that she's just shocked that he's a frisky kind of guy. You know what I mean? Where is that damn list? You just give me a minute, K Bella. Mm hmm. Memorial Bees. This is great. <laughs> oh, here we go. I have several lists. Um, yeah, foodie duty. She really stepped in at this time. That's for sure. Thank you for the support. Um, let's see. People who aren't allowed to talk Chantel. <laughs> Ninja Cat. NYJ. Quirky Loves Rose. Pussycat. Um, I have an are you okay list. Golden Girl. Oh, these are, no, we're not going over those people. I'll keep looking. It's got to be around here somewhere. Now that you say that, I know I know the name now. All right, back to you, Chantel. I was oh, supposed to make a Frank emoji. I never saw this side of him. This nice side it was totally See? fucking hidden. See, I think, dude, I'm telling you. I think she really had no idea that Salah was uh, even in interested in sex. I think she probably thought that they, you know, just kissing on the forehead was all that uh, both of them ever needed. And now that this just came out, shit. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she's shocked. So, I'm going to just go for a little while. Go to the find somewhere to go to the washroom and get. I have a Starbucks gift card and I'm gonna use it. I have forty bucks worth of Starbucks. So when That's I all she's I'm got. The free water and I have water. And uh, because I can get, I can get. It's the only place I can customize right now, like soy milk and sugar free vanilla. Dude, I'm telling you, she's living off gift cards. She doesn't use that Tim Hortons gift card that her family gave her, and now all she's got left is uh, <laughs> Starbucks. Yeah, I had it wrote down to make a Frank emoji. I can't believe I didn't do it. Yeah. No, Julia wasn't a street cat. We got her out of a... It was like somebody Salah knew, another Syrian guy. And um, we picked her up. She came in this little pink basket. She poked her head out. And I was really happy then. Nigerian scammer, I would fucking die. <laughs> uh, oh, here's my joy. I'm sorry, guys, it's so fast. Plus, that's what they were talking about yesterday. He could legit get in trouble with the Kuwaiti authorities if this came to their attention. Salah, you in danger, you freak. Thank you, Plutes, for your support. I appreciate you. Boy, Salah's gonna fuck around and find out. Mm mm mm. Get Sam back. I wish. <laughs> the fake boycott. Coffee beans. Lauren, turn your life around. Thanks, Lauren. I'll be okay. I, you know, I have a lot of support. I have a lot of family support. But let's get out of here. Yep, let's, out with let's go. Let's go hit up the drive throughs Okay, we got oh, we got our freedom back. We're here in Canada. I'm sure Shmi, if we call her, call her up right now and tell her that we need a we need a 50 spot, she'll probably give it to us. We can tell her that we're just going through it. We just need some money, need a little gas money, and I'm sure she'll she'll send it right over. Let's get out of here. Let's leave it all behind, Chantel. Just me and you, and the drive through. So I've been lying, but never sexual. Like, never, never, never. So it's not like that with us. <laughs> that poor family behind Chantel has no idea what's going on right now. Okay, well. Shit or get off the pot, Salah. Now that I think about it, I'm just like, I was so impulsive again. Like getting married. You think? Like that. Is that another warning light coming on your dash? Is that what that is? Maintenance light? Warning light? Check engine light, maybe? Share it with us. The illusion of great marriage she tried to paint is now broken. Love that for her. Smugness not allowed anymore. He's forever shit boy. Thank you, Airy Pepperoni, and it's all true. 
He will forever now be known as Shit Boy. <laughs> You were the loyal and sincere one. You were not a fault. Yeah, you know. And, you know, they would have... It would have happened anyway. Thank you, Dream. Thank you guys for the support. That's sweet. He probably needs therapy. Yeah, go get him a little bit of that therapy. That ought to help. Thanks, guys. That <laughs> sounds a lot like pray the gay away. <laughs> yeah, I was married once to certain degrees of things. <coughs> Perfect is more of a motivation for positive change. You are my prayers are great. You have a peace that suppresses understanding. Thank you. Some kinks should be shamed. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I'll be back after, okay? I'm gonna, uh, I gotta go pee so bad. Take care of some things, but I'll be back. Thank you for listening. Eat up the drama, vultures. <laughs> I'll see you later. Fucking fantastic, Chantel. Wow. I mean, that was a great performance just by you as well. <laughs> Amazing. Two thumbs up. So you got to wonder, okay, so we didn't hear from Chantel for a while after that, not until later that night when she put up the I Still Love Him video or whatever. And at that time, people were telling her and sending her messages about what actually happened between Salah and Kay Bella. So she was kind of getting like pieces and <laughs> trying to put everything together. But she had not read the messages. So what do you think? What kind of absolute fucking meltdown did Chantel have? I mean, just think about that. When she got home and went over to Piggy's video or Marley Hendricks or maybe Twitter itself, I don't know where she watched it all happen, but I can guarantee you. Um, yeah, oh, oh, my Lanta, I can agree with that. But. I could just imagine what that was like when she actually saw Salah typing and saying those things to that girl. You know, like, fucking wow, Salah. <laughs> Salah is now scat daddy. Love that so much for him. Thank you, Lorenza, for the support. I appreciate you. Do we think that Salad actually might be attracted to Foodie because he's into poop and we know our girl has poop issues? Well, here's the thing, though, Koki the cat. <laughs> Fuck, y'all are messed up. I think Salah, yes, I think obviously he has a shit fetish or whatever, but I think he's the, he's the one that's into shitting on women. I don't think it's vice versa. I don't think he wants Chantel to shit on him or to fart on him or anything like that. I think he feels like he's degrading women by pissing and shitting on them. That's his kink. I don't think shit is necessary. And I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But from what I've seen and, you know, <laughs> looked at, I feel like he likes degrading women and by him shitting and pissing on women is a part of him degrading the women. So by Chantel being into farts and, you know, all everything that Chantel is, I don't think that does it for him, you know, because if that was the case, you know, he would have all of his fantasies fulfilled right there at home with Chantel. But he didn't. Do you think he gets off to Julia's litter box? That's so disgusting, Plutes. Probably. God only knows what else he didn't let that K Bella girl know, you know? Ugh. No wonder Julia always shat in their bed. Makes you want to see Nodder making fun of her panties over this. No shit. It was bound to come out. And it came out. Let's watch the deleted video. Um... I think this is the apology video that Marley put up. Let's watch this. I'm pretty sure this is what this is. Let me link the channel in the chat. Do, do, do. He mentioned having his face twerked on and being farted on in the messages. Okay, well, then I guess then he is into that shit, right? Ooh, God, I mean, I guess that would make sense why he could tolerate Chantel as, as long as he has. Even freaking Critter Boy couldn't tolerate Chantel like that. 
He shits on her both emotionally and literally. Ooh, foodie duty. Thank you for the support. He wants to feed her a nice, thick choco shake, chocolate shake. Yeah, Cokey, Cokey the Cactus. Thank you for your support. Gross, gross, gross. All right, let's watch the damn video. And I feel like Salah comes from a repressed, and I'm not excusing his actions. I'm not at all. But So apparently Chantel has dumped Salah, taken Salah back, deleted this video after learning about the nudes, dumping him again. It's, I'm giving my reasoning to why I'm deciding to work it out. And hi guys, I'm going to not edit this. So there might be pauses and ums and all that crap. So anyway, I'm gonna now what you're hearing is Chantel's video that she deleted after K Bella posted proof that um, Salah did in fact send her a dick pic. Okay. Follow up. To this was Chantel letting the world know that she was going to stand by her man. And no matter what, they were going to be a loving couple. Wistful Demon, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you. I love the super sticker. Thank you. My previous live stream um, where I was freaking out because I learned of some conversation of sexual nature that was going on between um, Salah and um, someone else. Yes, exactly. You are my slave. Hey, Sharmuta, don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? Slut. You're gonna be under my shoes forever and ever. Anyway, um, so I did a lot of talking with him and um, probably should have done that before I came to the internet freaking out, <coughs> but I have the track record of when something goes wrong, I impulsively go live and just let it all out. So, um, which brings me to, um, some reasons I've decided to make the decision I did. Um, I decided to forgive him and move on and try to, um, because number one, uh, which, you know, you haven't heard very many outbursts from me during this relationship compared to the previous encounter I had with someone who shall be heard, uh, remain nameless. Um, there's no tea with Salah. There's no, um, abuse story. There's no anything bad. He's always been treating me like a queen. I do believe that. And again, I mean, I hate to cut you off right there, Chantel, but I just want to remind you because he has to keep the scam going. Your whole thing was all you have to do is fake love me. So, yes, of course, he's not going to abuse you. Of course, he's going to try to treat you nice, treat you good, treat you like a queen, hold doors open, not put his hands on you. Absolutely. Because he needs to keep the money coming in, Chantel. You cut. OK, let me tell you something. Because you're probably here listening. If you want to if you want to know if this man is staying with you because he honestly loves you for you. Cut him off financially. Cut him off financially. Come back and talk to us in a month. Uh, he loves me, and I say that because um, you can just kind of feel it, you know. When I, I mean, also, he, you can love someone and still cheat on them because it, that was my situation. I loved my ex. I told you, her bringing up how she cheated on BB and how BB forgave her. She was gonna use the same shit when it came to her forgiving Salah for cheating on her. And that's exactly what she's doing. She's so stupid. And I still did it. Number one is I love him. I love him. Um, other than this incident, he's been nothing but good to me. And I think, um, I believe him when he says it would never happen again. You know, he's told me like, I will hurt myself before I hurt you again. And um, I just have these fetishes that I've just been so afraid to communicate to you because you're my wife and I feel ashamed of that. And I'm like, you're, you can come to me, you know, like um, I can't promise I can do everything, but um, it's very private and embarrassing, um, you know, private stuff. But, you know, as for, I mean, fetishes go, it doesn't mean you're a bad person if you have fetishes, no matter how, um, even grape ones. I mean, some people like that. Like, if you look at the screenshots, this person. I mean, call me crazy, but I would imagine <laughs> that if, you know, somebody is into like, you want to kind of make sure that you find somebody that shares your same level of fetishes. Like if you're into the whole uh, shitting and pissing on somebody, wouldn't you want to find somebody on that level so you can live out all of your fantasies and you can share fetishes with them? Isn't that something that you should kind of like talk about before you go and get married to somebody? That way there's no like, oh, God, I need to live out these fantasies. I, I have all these fetishes that I want to fulfill. Let me go find somebody to to have that with because I wasn't open with my partner. 
and I'm embarrassed and I don't know how they're going to react if I tell them that I totally want them to take a big hot shit on me. This is so stupid. Came to him and said that they liked that kind of thing. And, you know, um, I don't. So, I mean, that's the thing. So he knows. <laughs> Marley, you're so funny. Let me link his channel again. Please go sub up the original creator of the video. It's in the chat. This is great. I'll link these uh, creators after the live stream. They're going to be in the description of the video, guys. Okay. Anybody on the replay? Gang, gang. Sad, but um, it doesn't make him a bad person to have fetishes. He's never abused me or even alert to any of this in private life. I mean, you know what, Chantel? The, the shit and the piss, like that's, I guess that's the total thing. Okay. But you're kind of really pushing the envelope when you're talking about graping people. Like, to be with somebody and to, to find out that they have that kind of fetish. I mean, the shit and piss is like, wow, already like, oh, really? Thanks a lot. You know, wish you would have told me that maybe 10 years ago. But to have, a, you know, a, a great fetish, like that's another fucking level, dude. I mean, that is some serious shit, because if somebody really wants to act on that. You could be in the same situation that you were just in with Nodder. Making excuses, giving alibis, telling lies. You could become an accessory to some really crazy, uh, um, really crazy shit. A crime. Which is why it's so out of left field for me. For It doesn't even seem like my Salah, you know, but he's obviously been hiding. I think it makes it even worse that in a year he never trusted her enough to share his kinks with her. Because he's not into her like that. He doesn't want to talk about his kinks and his fetishes because all Chantel is to Salah is a pay pig. You know, those are things that you share with somebody who you want to be in a relationship with. He had no intentions of ever actually being in a, in a serious relationship with Chantel. Chantel is just his pay pig. Prove us wrong, Chantel. Cut him off financially and see how long he stays around. Aside of, you know, desire that he just doesn't, he can't help it. <coughs> Um, and, you know, he never did anything in person. He didn't show any nudes to this person or anything like that. Um, just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, uh, let's hear it again. ...in hiding a side of, you know, desire that he just... Actually, let's slow-mo it. ...doesn't... It can't help it. Um, and, you know, he never did anything in person he didn't show any nudes to this person or anything like that um, oh damn did he not tell you did he not tell you that he sat in the bathtub got his camera phone out took a little picture of his eeny beeny weenie and sent it over to k bella he left that part out oh damn mm. and you had to find out from the rest of us huh that he really did do that Jeez, Chantel. Um, just conversation, which is still cheating, I know. But I'm trying to be mature and understanding, and this is my marriage, this is real life. I don't want to just give up too easy. Uh, you know, if there's love there, I think it's worth working on it. I'm at least giving another try. Um, I miss my family. I don't want to ruin our family, you know, just... I'm not saying I ruined it. I know his actions did, but, um, I feel like he's really sorry. And <laughs> I do love him, and I just don't know how I can live without him, um, in my life, because he's been so good to me, like I said. Um, so I'm willing to give it another try. Um, we'll, we'll work on that in private. He's trying to prove to me that, you know, I can trust him again and it takes time. But, um, I mean, he's shown me. How in the hell is he going to prove to you that, that you can trust him again? He wouldn't have told you any of this had happened had he not been caught and exposed, Chantel. Stupid. Many, like, I've, anytime I shouldn't have do that. I hate a stupid bitch. I swear to Christ, man. This either. It's not good to do that, but looked at his phone and he doesn't accept any messages from anyone. You know, like, I have the screenshot. So now you've got to constantly check his phone, check his messages, check his location, stay on, I guess, video chat, probably from the time you get up until the time you go to bed to make sure that he's not going to cheat on you and that's the life that you want to live. That's the second chance that you want to give this man? God. I was here. Um, there's like somebody who's like a huge hater and they always, they're they trying to talk to my husband. What is wrong with you people? And for the person who reached out to Salah to do this, and I'm not saying Salah should have never answered, but you're disgusting and you're fucking pathetic and you need therapy. She, she'll give him a second chance, but by God, Kay Bella, you are out of here.
Okay. Hey, Sarah, she's airing all this dirty laundry, but a marriage certificate is too personal. Sure, Chantel. Thank you for being a member for 16 months. And it's true. More than I do. I <laughs> don't to do that. But anyway, I really don't know what cult you're looking for, but good luck. You have a family. It's not kids, but to us, our pets are family, okay? Um, I don't want to see it destroyed so quickly. I want to give it another try. And, yeah. you know, we promised, um, no matter what, yeah. um, to communicate with each other our wants, our needs, our desires. Um... And yeah, I know the type of fetish looks bad, but I mean, he wouldn't hurt a fly in real life. If it's consensual kind of fetish, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's taboo, but it doesn't make a person a bad person. So don't worry about me. I'm, I am wiser when it comes to relationships, actually. It doesn't make the person a bad person. I mean, if we are to be believed and you are husband and wife and the fact that you have to go back to Canada or you choose to go back to Canada to see your family who you've been away from for, I don't know, what, like a year now? And as soon as you do that, he goes and dips his toes into not even just strange pussy, but into your own people's backyard. Are you kidding me? And that does not make him a bad person. Everything else, put everything else to the side. The, the fetishes, the shitting, the great, whatever, put that on the shelf. But the fact that this man, you're telling me, Chantel, that you all are married. And you leave the country to go see your family, to see your mom and your sister and have Christmas with them. And the first opportunity that he gets, he not only cheats on you, but cheats on you with somebody you know. Like it's personal, but that doesn't make him a bad person. So what qualifies this man as a bad fucking person? Because that's a bad person. It's one thing to cheat. Like that already makes you bad. You're really fucking bad to cheat on somebody. Like, everybody knows that. But then to do it with somebody that your partner somehow is affiliated with, whether it be, you know, like, internet relationship, real-life relationship, like, it doesn't matter. And then to have all that shit played out on the internet and then to embarrass you to hell and back, and you're willing to say it's totally fine, that doesn't make him a bad person, call me crazy. Everything else, like, I'm not even talking about all the fetish shit. I'm pretty sure that makes him a pretty fucking bad person. He literally wanted to fly over, wanted her to fly over while she was gone and fat shamed her. All his fantasies included slim women and violence. The BTK killer had family, had a family too, Chantel. Ooh, Larry Pepperoni. All facts. Thank you for the support. All facts. So what actually qualifies this dude to be a bad person? He's not He's not bad. He's fine. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He can't help it. He just has fetishes. But that K. Bella, that no good, dirty, rotten whore, piece of shit, trash human being, she's horrible, but not Salah. He's just an innocent man. He's just got a couple of kinky fetishes, guys. It's totally fine. It was just a few words exchanged on the Internet. But fuck you, K. Bella, you whore. Like, you really, do you hear yourself? Do you even listen to these videos before you upload them on your channel, Chantel? Which is why I'm trying to be mature about it, you know, because... This is you being mature? Weighing everything else. Yeah. Sort of like with our relationship. These are I things that, even if a, a woman is going to go through some shit like this, they usually experience shit like this at the beginning of, like, <laughs> oh, my dear God, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Harlow was sleeping, and I think she hears the people outside, the delivery people. Sorry about that. She scared the shit out of me. Holy crap. Kim T, thank you for the super sticker. Let me recover, bitch, please. Wow. Okay. All right, I got it back. Even if women, I'm going to speak for women. I can't talk for you men. I'm not a man, whatever. But even if women ever have to experience things like this, it's normally like in the beginning of their dating stages, you know, late teens, early 20s to where, you know, you would you would say they're just stupid. You know, they just don't know better. They uh, catch a dude cheating and they're willing to look past it. Oh, they really didn't mean it. They accidentally tripped and fell and landed in her pussy. It's fine. I forgive you type of shit. I've heard 
plenty of stories of, you know, my friends and shit finding out that their exes or their current partner has cheated on them and they forgive them. They're willing to look past and you're like, girl, don't do it, girl. And they do it anyways. But Chantel is 40 years old. 40. Like, imagine, put yourself in 40-year-old Chantel's shoes, have all this shit play out on the internet, and you're willing to forgive somebody. And, and not only are you willing to forgive them, you're willing to make a video of a picture with them and talk about what a great person they are. Like, what is wrong with you? Uh, late last night, she showed text with him, initiating everything. They had a normal, friendly exchange, and then he started with, do you have a boyfriend? Ooh, I didn't even see that she who shits herself. Thank you so much for the support. Wow. Uh, beware the liar slayer. Yes, absolutely. And happy birthday to you, hun. Let's see. Can you have a peanut grind? Of course you can. <laughs> Love it so much. It's just crazy, you know? Crazy. I think it's worth another try. The love is there, and the way he treats me is phenomenal. <coughs> um, he's not perfect, you know, but everything else was so real. Everything about how he would treat me online, the mushy stuff, he's like that in real life. Um, and I don't, just don't think he could knew how to approach me. Like, maybe he was ashamed of that side of him, and he didn't want to bring it to his wife, you know? Like, our, I'm not supposed to talk about our sex life and everything, but our, you know, life like that is intimate. Hey, JD, I missed you the other day, hon, and I didn't even say thank you for the uh, super chat, but thank you. When I was watching a replay, I seen it come in, and I seen that I missed it. I'm so sorry about that. Life is just more loving and passionate, not so, like, fetishy. So, yeah. Um, like, oh, you should I gotta hear that chance. again. He's so... I gotta hear, because she's never talked about their sex life before. I gotta hear that shit again. To bring it to his wife, you know? Like, our... I'm not supposed to talk about our sex life and everything, but our you know, life like that is, intimate life is just more loving and passionate, not so, like, fetishy, so... Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Here we go. You know, like, our... I'm not supposed to talk about our sex life and everything, but our, you know, life like that is, intimate life is just more loving and passionate, not so, like, fetishy, so... Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, like, oh, you should... That's all she can say about it. She can't... That's it. That's it, because it's non-existent. They do not have a sex life. Do you normally sh say shit this much? And I just don't hear it. Catherine, probably not. Special occasion and all, you know? And everything, but our, you know, life like that is, intimate life is just more loving and passionate, not so, like, fetishy. So, yeah. Um, like, oh, you shouldn't give him another chance. He's so horrible. I don't think he's horrible. He's been nothing but good to me and supportive. God, Jojo B, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate you. I, I just can't imagine coming online and giving my partner a complete pass after they humiliated me on the internet, took advantage of me going home to see my family. After I've given up my life in Canada, I left my family behind. I rehomed my, my pets. I gave up my villa to come to live in the Middle East with you and you take advantage of me coming back home to see my family for the holidays and you cheat on me. You don't just cheat on me, but you cheat on me with somebody I know and it gets exposed on the internet and here you are posting this stupid picture of Salah and the cat. And, you know, taking good care of me, like really good care of me in ways that most people will never believe, but I'm done trying to prove my... Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. I don't want to just throw him away because he's very bad. <laughs> I'll be at Sweetest Pie tomorrow. Oh, you know it. You know I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you. And you're going to eat it up and you're going to watch me. <laughs> you wish, Chantel. Wonder Woman says if she stays, she better be ready to let him cheat in peace. Just eat your food and shut the fuck up. That's right. Thank you, Wonder Woman, for the support. I appreciate you. Becca Boo, she is his fetish. Humiliating. Mm. Thank you for being a member for two years. I appreciate you. Okay, listen, I want to go over this community tab post really quick. That was written by the one, the only Chantel. Uh-huh. Let me take away the uh, wallpaper so I can read it better. Of course, it was posted on Salah's channel, but we all know who wrote this. And you know what's so funny? Mischief Maker, thank you so much for being a member for 22 months. Wow, so the, sh so the shit literally hit the fan. It really did. You know what's so funny, though, about this apology? 
because she was quick to sit down and make a video and upload it on her channel, you know, saying how she's going to stick by her man and how he treats her good and he's really not a bad guy. You know, he's just got, he's just got some fetishes that he's embarrassed about. So, of course, he didn't feel comfortable coming to his wife. He had to go to a stranger on the Internet. It's fine, guys. It's totally fine. And you took to you didn't necessarily take the camera, but you took to Mike and like we could hear the words and we could hear the expression in your voice and hear that you were basically pretty sincere with you, you know, accepting that everything that happened and you were willing to forgive him. OK. He couldn't even wait for the new year. That's right, foodie duty. Thank you for the support. How come it is this um apology that was posted on Salah's community tab uh whatever couldn't have come out of his own mouth why didn't he take the camera take the microphone and sit down and give a sincere apology not only to you but to your community for making an absolute fool out of both of you you know, why didn't he apologize to you and to, to the few followers that you have over there? Why did you have to type him up this apology? Did he even tell you to say any of this or did you come up with every single bit of this? Because he's mad at you now. Is he playing like the Uno reverse? Oh, you've talked about me on the Internet. I'm not speaking to you. And now you're you're uploading videos with him holding the cat talking about I love him. He's a good man. He's a good man. He didn't mean any of it. Now he knows he can cheat on you and you'll take him back. He'll do it even more and claim it's just a fetish. <laughs> Love that for you, foodie. It's true. It's true. It's so true, Chantel. We love that for you. Anyways, let's get into Salah's apology, shall we? We got to do it. Got to do it. Oh, Nikki, awesome. Sam, I hope you're listening. Nikki says Bunny has finally posted on Twitter and she's alive. Thank you, uh, Nikki. I'll make sure that Sam gets in touch with her. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. All right, guys. Hi, y'all. I know I'm the last person you want to hear from right now, but I want to apologize for my actions. The main one being that I hurt and betrayed my wife. I swear and I even admitted in the screenshots that before this incident, I never spoke or even accepted requests from other women. I have certain fetishes I repress and I felt ashamed to tell my wife about them in fear she might find me weird and leave me. I will not make excuses for my actions, though just try to explain where I'm coming from. I am also sorry for disappointing the Beezers and to anyone... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I am also sorry for disappointing the Beezers and to anyone who never thought I had this side to me. I am a good man and would never hurt anyone in real life. This was all supposed to be private and fetish talk only. From now on, I will always communicate my feelings with my wife. Baby, I love you, sweetheart, and I am so sorry. I will tear my arm off before I ever hurt you again, and I will do whatever it takes to get you back. I miss you, and since you have been gone, I have been so lonely and messed up. I've been so lonely, Chantel, since you've left for Canada. I've gotten so desperate that I've reached out to women in your community and had a little kink talk with them and even offered them to come here while you were gone to Canada. I'm so sorry about that. It's your fault for leaving me and going back to visit your family. I'm so sorry I let everyone down because everyone now thinks I'm a cheater. They don't think you're a cheater, so all they know you're a cheater. You're a cheater, you're a scammer, you're a user, and you're a loser and a bad person. I did bad things, yes, and I'm deeply sorry. I would take a long break from the internet. Thank you for listening and understanding. So while we don't understand any of this, we don't. No, we don't. We don't understand any of this. We sure don't. This is pathetic. Pathetic. Chantel and you are more pathetic. 
because you're falling for that bullshit, but you're not, are you? You're not falling for that. You know, you know good and well the reality of the situation. You do. And you also know that basically that's as good as it's ever going to get for you. Somebody who's using you for your money. Somebody with a shit and piss fetish. They have a shit and piss fetish fetish that they don't even want to fucking live out with you. They want to live out with other people that you know on the internet and laugh at you being fat. Jasmine says, K. Bella is the Mrs. ATX of World World. L O fucking L. You nailed it, Jasmine. You really did. I love that so much for you, foodie. Do we have anything else? That post was deleted from her channel or from his channel. Oh, we have Chantel's community tab post. <laughs> oh, one moment, please. We have some more. There we go. There we go. Let me turn the background off again. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> Hi guys, I privated my previous video. I am confused and just need some time away to myself to figure things out in my life. Mm. Then she continues. Before I leave for a long while, I want to say that having a fetish, no matter how taboo, does not define a person or make them a criminal. A lot of people have secret fetishes. Salah has never ever once treated me badly other than the infidelity in this one case. He was never abusive and is not a violent person. He has no criminal record of violence and is very sweet and gentle with me. I'm not defending him talking to someone secretly. However, we need time to try and heal. A marriage, if there is love, and if the good outweighs the bad, may be worth saving. I should never have been impulsive and went live to even discuss it. You see how she takes blame right there? Like, look at that. I, I should have never went live and been impulsive to discuss it. You mean... I think what you mean it, meant to say there, Chantel, was that Salah should have never entertained any other woman in private messages or anywhere else. I think that's what you meant to type there, and that's just kind of like an error on your part. You might want to go back and, fi and fix that. But anyways, to the desperate, ugly whore who started it, pretty sure it was Salah that started it, but okay. All right. You are sad and no man will ever respect you. You're saying that as your husband literally humiliated you. I've never, and I've been watching you for seven years. I've watched you shit your pants. I've watched you cry over a crackhead. I've watched you discuss the STDs that this crackhead gave you. I've watched you talk about a threesome that you had with the woman who stole your crackhead away from you, and I have never seen the level of humiliation that this man has brought to you in your workplace. Can we just add that in there to your workplace? But tell me more about how this woman will never have a man respect her, Chantel. Take a look in the fucking mirror. Your flex is that you got Salah's attention. Bitch, he wanted to use you as a toilet. Desperate as hell. You're coming on the internet to defend a man who has humiliated you at your job. And you're going to stay with him. Take your ass back to Kuwait. And tell us more about somebody else being desperate, Chantel, please. I await your response. Anyway, I'm judging by how he has always treated me. He has never been anything except kind and loving. You weirdos let Kaya back and she shacked up with a child pimp. No idea who did that. Different ballpark altogether, that's true. 
we are human beings and mess up anyways. Regardless, we need a long break to deal in private. T T F N. What's T T F N? T T F T T F N. Uh, it's not registering. What is T T F N? Anybody, please? Anyone? Anyone in the crowd? T T F N, please. <laughs> Let me bring the freaking wallpaper back. That is great. Absolutely amazing, Chantel. Again, thank you so much for the uh, entertainment. It has been a crazy 24 hours. Wow. And I'm very excited to see what the long break brings. Bunny, is that you? Oh, my God. Proof of fucking life. Oh, ta-ta for now. Oh, you're so clever. You're so clever. I'm so glad to see you back and in chat. We have been worried. We are about to send out a freaking uh, smoke signal just for you. I'm so glad you're back. Hopefully you're better. This has been more than entertaining, more than what any of us in girl world would have ever saw coming in a million fucking years. <laughs> it's great. Please don't stop. Thank you all so much for being here. It's been a hell of a time, a hell of a ride. And yeah, I mean, depending on what goes down between now and tomorrow, we might be back in the morning. We shall see. Ta-ta. Fuck. The damn giveaway. Fuck me. Wait. Fine. We got to do the giveaway. <laughs> all right. Um. <laughs> I almost had it, too. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> Butter crumpet, that was great, wasn't it? I think every day I forgot about the giveaway. It's great. How many days we got left of this shit? This could be possibly the last one. Uh, not that I don't like giving you all cool shit, but geez, man. Hold on. Talk amongst yourself, please. <laughs> this is great. I hope it goes down tonight. I hope Chantel comes back and she rages more. Okay, we are picking the giveaway winner from Blue Couch Bound Live Reaction. No, like back oh, shut up, fatty. And yes, she is definitely Blue Couch Bound. That's for sure. We speak nothing but facts over here. All right. So there's one. There we go. Get YouTube comments. Blah, blah, blah. All right. How many comments are we working with today? 223. Y'all slacking, bro. 200 fucking 23 comments kind of shit is that all right pick a winner and the first winner is shannon ray 8140 shannon ray 8140 congratulations girl <laughs> and the next winner here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Is Rainy in the Desert? Congratulations to you, Rainy in the Desert. Woo, congratulations to our winners. That was so much fun. Uh, one thing I gotta tell y'all, because I meant to tell you all this the other day, it was so fucking funny. So we've been doing this giveaway now. That we did it the whole month of December. And I think Frenchie's been giving away BBJ calendars too. <laughs> and so, like, in order to en enter our giveaway, you have to comment on the live stream after it's over. That's just how it works, okay? <laughs> somebody, somebody came over there and they said, what did they say? They said, I'm here for the calendar. <laughs> I said, I think. I think you're talking about Frenchie's giveaway. I said, we got tumblers and wax melts over here. Anyways, it was fucking hilarious. Thank you all so much. For being here, this shit was lit. Chantel, please come back. Cry more about your husband wanting to shit on members of your community. We would love to hear what you have to say. Ta-ta for now.
you, can you not take them to the park? <laughs> rage, more rage. Damn, son. <laughs> You with fucking motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, son. I'm not fucking gay. Hey, 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 hey. You with fucking motherfucker. <laughs> Hillbilly crap white trash people. <laughs>